Hello everyone, hello Orange Cat. So I was not able to stream like three days straight. Well, mostly because of the allergy. <sighs> Let's continue. Well, it's kind of definitely I will not be able to finish it today because I'll finish today definitely the last of the original cases and the new one. A new one? I don't know, maybe it's need two more days, who knows. Whew. This one. Maybe tomorrow finally we'll be able to get the new streaming PC. It will fix several problems that I have. <sighs> The last uh, day, I mean. Allergic to the law. If it was allergic to the law, let me check the sound test, test, test. Alright. It's a stupid spring. It's tons of flowers, but I have allergy not to flowers, but trees. What was Mr. Edgeworth talking about? A memory of a crime that I committed. A memory of murder. So the real killer would be uh, the policeman. I, for some reason, saw that will be uh, this von Karma, but it's not him. I really think Mr. Edgeworth killed? I don't believe it. Not Edgeworth. Some painful memory has been troubling him recently. But he'd never take someone's life. Never. Hey. Yo, how's everyone doing? What do you think of my performance today? I had them swooning in the house. Hmm, Mario? Swooning? Me? Oh, oh yes, I do remember feeling faint. Right on. Tell me the truth, it was like love at first sight, right? Right, Nick? Uh, me? I will... maybe my heart skipped a bit or two. I think you can do better than that. Come on, I saved Edgeworth in there, dude. Edge, you guys should be born before me. Yeah, but before your hero. Okay. Uh, should I even talk to him? Edgeworth. Nick, why do you trust Mr. Edgeworth so much? I mean, he's changed recently, true. 
I don't know, as far as I saw, he was okay all the time. Didn't feel any evil. But when we first met him, he was kind of a jerk, don't you think? No. You didn't know him back then. Back when he wanted to become a defense attorney. Wait. Was that when you two were classmates? Yes. In grade school. They saved me, Miles and Larry. They saved me, and I'll never forget it. That's why I became a defense attorney, you know? What? Hey, Larry. What's he talking about? Mm -hmm. Um. Sorry, I kind of forgot. Okay, Nick. Out is it. I'm going to hear this story today, and it's final. Okay, okay. It's kind of a long story, so hang on there. It was the beginning of spring, first grade. It wasn't trial, a class trial. Class trial? Today's trial. Mari, you really helped out in the trial today. You did? You went there. I'm sure Mr. Edgeworth would have been found guilty. But seriously, Nick, that was shop caretaker guy is pretty suspicious. But Edgy ain't of the hook yet. Where to spell the mood, Larry? I'm just a guy sitting in the audience, you know? But from where I was sitting, Edgy seemed pretty edgy. I mean, can you really know he's telling the truth about that night? Nick, I don't know. But what I do know is I'm going to believe in you too until the end. Us too? I sure said who else? You mean me, right? Nah, he means me, right, Nick? Yeah, you are. Not me? Why you, Lori? Hmm? Um, actually, yeah, why me, Nick? Now be the silent treatment. You remember, Lori? Spring first grade. A kid in my class got his lunch money stolen. Lunch money? Our school was really small. Every month. Kids would bring in an envelope with money for lunch from home. Okay. Let's see. Anyway, the kids' envelope disappeared with sooty eight dollars still inside. How did you know? Still inside. Maybe it's stolen when somebody removed the money first. Oh yeah, now that you mention it, I do remember that. I can see why you'd forget, though. You were out of school that day. Anyway, the envelope had been stolen during PE class. I was coming down with a cold, so I'd skip here that day. I was the only one not in class. So they thought you did it. Yeah. The kids in class uh, said I should be put on trial. Trial? So the next day we held a classroom trial with me as the defendant. Well, I didn't do it. Wait a second. Hmm. Guilty. He did it. Guilty. It was you. Thief. Give me my money back. Such a medium. Just admit you did it. You can't hide the truth. I'm not gonna play with you anymore. It's so what? What's the problem not to play? No, Phoenix, you know you shouldn't shouldn't steal people's money, it's not right. For me, it will be a relief. Finally, no more people around me. In the end, even the teachers thought I'd done it. Apologize to the class, Phoenix. I I didn't know what was happening. I was so sad, I couldn't stop crying. Everyone was staring at me like I'd done it. I tried to apologize, I went over to where the boy was sitting. I tried to never apologize, even if you did it, never do this. It's the rule number one in this world. 
You apologize to someone that's automatically means you're guilty. That's when it happens. He shouldn't have to apologize. The only thing that belongs in a trial is evidence. Anything else has no place. Should all be ashamed, amateurs. Miles? It wasn't you who stole my money, was it? No. Then you shouldn't apologize. Everyone's been shot and you did it, but no one has any proof. That is why, Your Honor, this boy is innocent. But Miles, it was your money that was stolen. Tisha is insane, I believe she should give up her job and be fired, of course. He did. He's won. You don't need proof. Why don't you all just shut up? This is always how it is. Everybody hanging up and picking on one person. Just seeing how he feels. See, he didn't do it, so he didn't do it. So why is all this money? Very well. I'm gonna play the money myself. Obviously, you must do this. You're a teacher. You're responsible. This class trial is over. This how it happened? After that, the three of us were always friends. Always friends for like. three months? Oh, I had no idea. Yeah, I had no idea either. I mean, I forgot. When I learned what it meant to be alone. Totally alone without a friend in the world. <laughs> you did a good scene, Larry. Yeah, well. Most just lucky that I took the day off from school. How being there, they would have thought I'd done it. So I took it. Kind of personal, this thing. But something smells. It's usually at the butt. Anyway, Edgeworth and I talked after that glass trial. It's when I heard his father was a defense attorney. I remember his eyes would shine when he talked about his father. I'm going to become a defense attorney, just like my dad. A famous defense attorney. Then a few months later, he suddenly transferred to another school. As I see, few months. The DL6 incident, right? I'm not sure, but that transfer probably had to do with his father's death. It's so sad. For several years later, when I heard Edgeworth's name again, there was an article about him in the newspaper. The headline was something like "Dark Suspicions of Demon Attorney." Fabricating evidence, manipulating testimonies, covering up facts. The article said he'd do anything to get a guilty verdict. Anything. But why? What happened? I mean, it's not the edge I used to know at all. It's what I saw too. I tried to get in touch with him, I don't know how many times. He never replied. Guess he didn't want to see his old friends. Couldn't just drop it, though. I wanted to meet him, to learn why he had become who he became. It's when I decided. Wait, you don't mean that's why? That's why you became a defense attorney? To meet Edgeworth? He was a defense attorney. I knew he'd have to meet me whether he wanted to, to or not. In court. Edgeworth believed in me and I believe in him. He simply. And no one's on his side. I'm the only one who knows the real Edgeworth. I'm the only one who can help him. Panic. So, is it why you helped me out for free? Mm, yes. Help you because I believed in you. Except I don't remember saying I do it for free. Nick, Nick. Nick. You have to save Mr. Edgeworth if it's the last thing we do, okay? Right. Very well, maybe. First, there's that rental bird shop caretaker. You need to find out who or what he is. Let's settle for him. 
Yes, and clean out some of this evidence I no longer need. Okay, let's go. So, they remove it. What did they remove? I don't know, I don't care. Hmm. Move, of course. There's still nobody here. <clears throat> He's out. Again. Does he work anyway? Oh no. Don't be harsh. Yes, we'll have to come back later. <sighs> detention? Do we need to go to the detention center? Can we not? You look as grim as always. Hmm, Mr. Edgeworth, I heard the story about the class trial. Class trial? What do you mean? You don't remember? No, I don't. Lunch money was stolen, wasn't it, in first grade? Lunch money? Oh, right. Yeah, I seem to remember something like that. Like, I think you're the only one who really remembers. Probably only really matter to me, anyway. Mr. Edgeworth, didn't you know that trial was the reason Nick became a defense attorney? Ridiculous. Jesus. That's it. It does sound like the kind of thing you do. You haven't changed a bit, have you, right? So simple. To a fault, even. Well, maybe yeah, but... I think you changed too much, Edgeworth. Perhaps. Prosecutor Von Karma. What's your relationship with Von Karma? It's my teacher and a man who deserves respect. I learned everything I know of courtroom techniques from him. So he's like my sister was to Yuli. He's a perfectionist in all things. In court, in his personal life, perfectionist word is negative. When you see it, something that means you're treasure this person. He's obsessed with doing everything perfectly. Perfectly, huh? In all the cases, he has taken on none were left unsolved, and not one suspect was declared innocent, ever. But what's that? I know. It's possible some of the suspects were indeed innocent. However, it is impossible for us to accurately determine that in every case. All Von Karma does is his job to find the suspect guilty perfectly. In any case, it's in any case, it's not the job of any of the attorney defensive or prosecutor to find somebody guilty or guilty. They must figure out the truth and only this. It's not well impossible to find a weakness in him. Should a witness appear, he would do everything in his power to take it go away. Hmm. Edgeworth? If what you're saying is true, you're headed for guilty sentence tomorrow. She's right! Now it's no time to prize the enemy, Mr. Edgeworth. It's a strange situation in which I find myself. I'll admit. No kidding. Edgeworth. Why did you become a prosecutor anyway? You used to look up to your dad. You said you wanted to be a defense attorney, right? Couldn't let myself deny reality like you. What do you mean? My father was taken from me, and you want me to defend criminals? I'm sorry, right? But I'm not that good of a person. One suspect was upper hand in your father's murder, right? Yes, the man trapped in the elevator is my father. His name was Yanni Yoyo. I wonder what was in the original. He had to be the shooter anyway you look at it. Yet he was found innocent. The defense attorney caught him off the hook. It would be Robert Hammond. On that day, 15 years ago, the three of us were trapped in that elevator for five hours. When we were rescued, we all suffered oxygen de 
deprivation. I've lost all memory of the murder. You lost your memory? Even now I can't recall what happened in that elevator. Was the crux of Yogi's attorney's argument in court. He claimed Yanni Yogi had been not of sound mind due to the oxygen deprivation. He was released due to a lack of evidence. Innocent. That's when I changed my mind. I started to hate defense attorneys. And that's all. Hmm, looks like Detective Gamsha hasn't gotten back yet. Gamsha? He won't be coming back today. Really? Said there was some guy he had to arrest by tomorrow. The bot shop caretaker. Shot at something about catching him if it's the last thing I do, Paul. Not like Gamsha. So, only like left. And here he is! Hey, pal, long time no see. Oh, Detective Gumshoe. Close one today, huh? I got so worked up, I snapped my tie in half. Sorry about that. No problem, pal. Thanks to you, we now know who really did it. You mean the bot shop character? Look, I'll make you a promise. I'll have that scoundrel. In my custody. By trial time tomorrow. Come with me. Uh, <laughs> come with me. It's my duty to you as a police officer. Now I'm off to catch me a criminal. Detective Gansho sure is active today. Oh, one other thing. No one can go into the woods today. The woods? The lot are camping? The lot are off limits to camping, and apparently the park or ranger found out. They're pretty mad. No one can go in for a while. I guess lot is in a lot of trouble. Anyway, I'll be seeing you tomorrow. Alright, so let's... Uh, wait a second, what can I do? Public beach? And who removed this samurai? Still, eyesore is missing. Eyesore? Saying the hot dog stand is closed too. As far as being too busy with the trial to show up for work. He was with them just now. It's supposed to find him. It's the last location so far. That old caretaker got away. Yep. I never imagined he might be the real murderer. I know that clearing all the truth anyway. God, I hate these cables here. Oh, hello, what might you be doing here? Out for a walk, hmm? Oh, the days of my youth. Like the scent of fresh lemon, you see? No, I don't see. Mr. Grossberg? It's no time for Ido. Reminiscent. Mr. Edgeworth's trial ends tomorrow. That is true, yes. But from what I saw of today's trial, Edgeworth should be fine, right? Well, I'm not sure about that. What do you mean by that? Well, I'm not sure. If you find anything out, come by my office at once. I may be able to offer you some assistance. I don't think Mr. Grossberg was doing here anyway. Who knows? Can I get inside the boat house? The car taker must have run for the hills, huh? Yeah, looks like it. Didn't seem like a bad person. I'm supposed to know who's a bad person, but wait a second, we can enter! Let's open this safe. 
Nobody saw me. Hello, hello. Hey, it's Polly. I wonder where your owner's gone, Polly. Hello, hello. I believe he'd run off and leave his poor parrot to fend for herself. Hello, hello. That reminds me, Nick. Polly here knows the number to the safe, right? Yes, that's right. Polly, what's the number to the safe? One, two, two, eight. Let's open it, Nick. Come on. I should say, isn't any money in there. Hey. It keeps it locked, right? So there must be something of value in there. I'm not so sure. Okay, Nick, let's see what's in there. I guess there might be a clue, too. The only thing in here is a letter. A letter? Marin. There's no name or signature on this scene. It's handwritten in very precise, clear letters. Get your revenge on Miles Edgeworth. Revenge? But he was found not guilty. What, he was upset with that? Edgeworth? Nick, why would Mr. Edgeworth's name be on here? How should I know? I'm going to read the whole scene. And you mentioned Miles Edgeworth. It also says this is your last chance. Now's your time to get revenge on them on the two men who ruined your life. You understand how can your life be ruined if you he was I don't know some policeman guards like so what? He was not a king or something, some politic. The rest of the letters goes on to describe the murder plot in detail. How to kill Robert Hammond and frame Edgeworth. Calling Edgeworth out to the lake, getting on the boat, fighting twice. That's exactly what I figured out today in court. Okay, so Karma wrote this letter. It's all here in perfect detail. And uh, how will they lose this letter right now? What do you think it means, Nick? I don't know, but it looks like these are instructions for that caretaker. When he killed Robert Hammond and called out Edgeworth, he was following instructions. Wait a second, uh, what? what was the point to do this? Still don't understand. Like 15 years will pass, and this murder will mean simply nothing. What's the point in actually doing any activity here. But who could have written that letter? And what does it mean to get revenge on Miles Edgeworth? I don't know, okay? But one thing's for certain. This letter is an amazing clue. If I don't lose it. Maybe I should take care of Polinic? You probably shouldn't just kidnap him. The police know about you anyway. Should still do something. Well, okay. Sorry, Polly, he says I can take you. But now the burn's going to hate me. It's maybe all here. Maybe Grossberg will rob them? Who knows? How to get here? One day left, Nick. Yeah, I know. Well, no time to waste. Let's get going. And there's still nobody here. We're supposed to go in this case. Okay, let me, I don't know, present uses. Treasures. This is letter. Mm -hmm. Skim out of the safe in the shack where that boat rental car take care of lives. I see. Revenge? On me? Who is that old guy anyway? I 
don't know. Can you be an innocent defendant? You got declared guilty or something? Nice, right? But I don't remember that old man, not at all. So he was following this letter then? Which means there was someone else behind it. Now is your time to get revenge on the two men who ruined your life. Two men, meaning myself and Robert Hammond? Don't say this is your last chance. Last chance? Wait, maybe. Maybe he's talking about the statute of limitations on the DL6 incident. Wait. Wait, that old man. What is it? Do you know who he is? Yogi. Could he be Yogi? Yogi? Yogi Brown? The suspect in the DL6 incident, the one who was found innocent. And Yogi was a court bailiff at the time. We just happened to be in that elevator the guess 15 years ago, so I don't know. Well, if it's low-level job with very small wage and income, so... Pff, cannot ruin your life if you was fired. Seriously, it's not possible. The quake was incredibly strong. Before I knew it, everything was dark. We were there for so long, it felt like forever. The air thinned. And the darkness closed in on us in that little box. We came and settled. How oh, I can breathe! Quiet, say quiet, you're not making this any easier. Get out, help, get us out! Shot, you just use up more oxygen. That's all, remember? When I came to, I was in a hospital bed, staring up at the ceiling. In court, Yanni Yuga's mental condition was called into question. They claimed the oxygen deprivation and stress had caused temporary insanity. In the end, the claim passed the court and Yogi was found innocent. But isn't it strange? The star tells him to get revenge on Edgeworth. How would he want to take revenge on you? Right. Yeah. There's something that's been troubling me these last few days. I didn't know whether or not I should tell you. You mean the nightmare? It's a nightmare I've had. The memory of a crime that I committed. Crime you committed? A memory of a murder. I seem, I seem the time has come to tell. It's the nightmare. In the last few years, I have had the same dream almost every night. Wake up in a firm full sweat every time. I can't dream. It's a dream about my father's killing in the dark. I hope I can breathe. Why is it going? You're not making this any easier. How to get out? Help! How can this man be a bailiff if he's so mentally unstable from the very beginning? Shut you'll just use up more oxygen. Congress, you! You're using up my air! What? Stop missing my air! I'll stop you! What? What are you? Stop raising my ear! No, father! It's attacking father! Then I see the pistol lying by my feet. I don't know if it was evidence from that day in court or the bailiffs. In the days I pick up the pistol. Get away! Get away my from my father! No, I see him. And with a scream, awake. It's a bone chilling scream. Scream that has run in my ears for the past 15 years. Wait a second, if it was evidence, it was not loaded. So it was bailiff, but it should. It fire anyway. But 
Just a dream, right? Right? So that is the only thing that has kept me sane for the last 15 years. But what if I'm wrong? What if it's real? It says that sometimes people shut out memories in self-defense. It was I who killed my father. What? If you think about it that way, this letter makes sense. Get your revenge on Miles Edgeworth. Think about it, Yogi was really innocent. That's why he wanted revenge against me. But then if he was trying to kill your father, so he's still not innocent. But guilty. Wait a minute, you, you mean? It was me. I was a true criminal of DL6. I shot my father. This is bad. We're going to do, Nick. What can we do? I don't know. I don't think there's anything we can do, like it or not. There's someone else who knows a lot about the DL6 incident, maybe, but as I know, this weapon doesn't matter. It sh shot twice, not just once. So it definitely was not it. There's someone else who knows a lot about the DL6 incident, maybe. Hey, Snick. There's someone else who knows about DL6. Grosberg? Mr. Rosberg. Oh, hello there. What's wrong? You look troubled. No kidding, I can't believe you're not. My, my, my. Just calm down. Tell me what's happened, hmm? Mr. Edgeworth, he... He? I see. So, Edgeworth dreamed he shot his own father. It's only a dream. Only a dream. I wonder... What? If that's the case, then why do you two look so troubled, hmm? Well... Also consider this. You can quite certainly hold a deep brush against Miles Edgeworth. So deep. He'd want to frame him for murder. This leads me to surmise that Mr. Edgeworth's dream was not a dream, it was real. As you mentioned, Miles Edgeworth threw the pistol to save his father, pistol fired, and the deed was done. No, don't believe it. Yogi was suspected of murder, and his career as a bailiff was... CAREER! <laughs> you kidding me, it was just his job, he... Not becoming some super well of these tons of money his pockets was miraculously worked. So s funny, I don't know. Like he was a like, vice president, so I don't know, CEO of some company. As well, if there's no career on it, it's dead end. Thus he sought or range on Miles Edgeworth. This was his last chance, of course. The statue of limitations so close. And by the way, uh, renting, working in the renting, or even a, what was this, wet noodle, a noodle, noodle, of course, <laughs> gives you more income than some belief. Wonderful. The spirit medium. When Gregory Edgeworth was killed, the police calls for a spirit medium. It was your mother, Mr. Faye. I am Gregory H. Rose. I have been killed. One who shot me was the bailiff, Yan Yogi. What a bullshit. Yet Yogi was found innocent. But of course, how can we listen? Any evidence? That's when my mother left us. Helen called her crowds. Of course, obvious. That's right, Evan saw she was. And she was, you see. Yet, now that I think about it, since the one who died was Gregory Edgeworth's ghost. Gregory Edgeworth must have known who shot him. 
I don't believe it. So you're saying he falsified his testimony? It's actually that lied to protect his son? It's only a possibility, mind you. Well, as I don't believe this, he actually didn't say anything because he was dead. Karma was a terrible girl. That's for sure. But a possibility none so less. What do you know about Edward's father? He was a defense attorney without peer. Sounds dry, but it's true. Well, he may have had one pair now that I think about it. And by the way, this means that Maya is just simply insane. Turn to me, uh, Mia, what was her name? A mentor, Mia Fei, Mia. My sister. Okay, Edgeworth was very disapproving of Mr. Phone Karma's techniques. So surprised. And Karma is an extreme man. Forget testimonies and evidence are nothing to him. Forged, sorry, forged. The result, he has a perfect win record in record and court. To beat him, Gregory Edgeworth tried to call attention to his medicine. And... He lost. And died in despair, as it were. I see. Okay, how to end it and stand finally in the court? Come on, where it's supposed to go now? Oh, lake again? Can't believe this. No? Oh, maybe I should show him something, of course, I must show it. So hard to move here. Uh oh, so this is the letter. Does seem that Yogi was following this letter when he killed Hammond. But why kill Robert Hammond? Supposed to do with this stupid cable. Maybe this. But why kill Robert Hammond? Hammond was a skilled defense attorney, but he defended clients not for their sake, but for his own. Huh? His own sake? He never trusted his clients, that one. The only thing he trusted was his own ability. But he got his client found innocent, so why should it matter? Actually, my dear, it's quite different. He wants an innocent, innocent verdict for no one but himself. Yuki was a free man, but socially he was ruined. Huh? Understand soon enough. Wait. What is it? This letter. I've seen this handwriting somewhere before, a long time ago. Hold on, who was using handwriting? You should print it! Idiot. Whose handwriting was this? Have any idea who wrote this? Miles? Yogi? Manfred von Karma. Could it be Manfred von Karma? Von Karma? How would he have something to do with this? But I'm not sure. Von Karma, von Karma. Wait, you're right, my boy. This is von Karma's handwriting. I'm sure of it. I used to see it all the time in court records. What? That means the one who told Mr. Yugi to kill was correct. Manfred von Karma himself. What does this mean then? Why would von Karma want to frame Edgeworth? Why is they actually explain everything right here and right now? Not in cards. If it really was von Karma who wrote this letter, then he would know the truth. Hello, Daytona. How are you doing? He would know that Miles Edgeworth 
had accidentally killed his old foreman. He'll say as much to more in Listen, but this is very solid evidence. How are we going to lose it? Oh, we're not going to lose it at all. Well, such games are, uh, as usual, very simple. Of course. He'll press the point until the current finds Mouse Edgeworth's guilt. How could Von Karma know about Mr. Edgeworth's past like that? Then Mr. Edgeworth saw that it was just a nightmare. That I do not know. Yet I don't know that Von Karma is both persistent and a perfectionist. He may be seeking to satisfy a grudge against Gregory Edgeworth by hardening his son. I don't mean. Was few years ago, Von Karma met Gregory Edgeworth in court, and Von Karma did win. But he didn't make it through that trial and skirt. Let's see. What happened in the trial between Edgeworth, Death, and Von Karma? Von Karma got the guilty verdict he wanted. He won the trial. But Gregory Edgeworth accused Von Karma of faulty evidence. And though he lost the trial, Mr. Edgeworth's accusation stood. Faulty evidence? It was the only penalty Von Karma has ever received in his career as a prosecutor. Gregory Edgeworth dealt a blow to his perfect trial record. Wow. It must have been quite a shock for Von Karma. He took a vacation for several months after that, you see? A vacation? Yes, an unusual went for the man. It was the first and the last vacation he is taken in his many years of prosecuting. Really? He doesn't take vacations? Well, maybe prosecution is just vacation to him. Like, go to the sea or to the mountains? You can do it without any vacation. Then tell me he's never been to Europe. And you can go to Europe and still work. It's not even vacations. What are you talking about? Extension is about vacations, man. In any case, that was the only time he took a vacation from work. I believe the penalty upset him quite a lot. What? If he wanted to keep a perfect record so badly. Why would he take such a long vacation? What do we do next? The karma is going to bring up DL6. You can bet on him for it. What if Mr. Edgeworth pleads guilty to DL6? I won't let him. Yes, Mr. Wright. I hate to say this, but even accidental murder is murder, you know? I know that. Belief in Edgeworth's innocence. Can't believe he'd kill someone. Hold on. Uh, it's kinda obvious now why Von Karma got such a big vacation. I see why. But Nick, Mr. Edgeworth admits it himself. His father must have lied to protect him from beyond the grave. I don't care. I don't believe in any mediums, even in you. No, he's not guilty. Mr. Red, if you say so, I suppose I could go check again. By the way, what if... What if you trick someone who is actually dying and you killed him, that somebody else killed him? So will the ghost will tell the truth, but actually it will be a lie, because he didn't know. Let's think about this. When you die, you not become uh, like a genius and knowing everything that's going on around. It's impossible. The police, even in this universe, police files might hold something of interest. Mr. Grossberg, thank you. You promise anything? In fact, I see the chances of finding something as slim. I understand. The police materials. Hmm? Hmm, let's go to this precinct. There's hardly anyone here. Everyone must be out looking for the old guy, Yugi. 
Oh, it's you. I don't seem gun show. You'll be coming back today. I already heard this. He's staying out late looking for someone. Sounds like the dead gun show is pounding the pavement for real. I wonder if we could check out the record room again. Well, no, I can't have just anyone wandering around in there. What? I guess Mr. Von Karma is in there now. Anyway, I can go in as long as he's up there. Von Karma? Yes, he just arrived actually. Von Karma's in the record room. Let's hurry. Dusty as always, and I cannot see any dust here. They're only here, just yesterday. I'm sure they just haven't had time to clean. What's wrong? Eh? Nothing. Or just noticing that he isn't here. The karma. Hmm? One of the drawers has open. Someone must have been looking at it recently. I will say it's unsolved cases, evidence. Hmm. Sold cases. Nick, file for DL6, it's completely empty. What? What are you doing here? Full karma! Yeah! How do you know my name? Huh? Have you met? What are you saying? We see each other every day, don't we? You be a Miles Edgeworth's defense team. Defense team? Ah, I beg your pardon, you see, I really remember defense and tournaments. They're like bugs to me. Needless sin to be crushed. I see how this guy was Edgeworth's mentor. Tomorrow's trial. Tomorrow will be the last day of this trial. It's been a while since I've had a defense attorney last seen long. Uh, this. Still, you will lose in the end. Not Edgeworth will admit his own guilt. His guilt of 15 years ago, you mean? Quite the researcher. If you've done your homework so well, then certainly you must understand. You know what must Edgeworth will tell the court tomorrow? Right. So Von Karma is going to bring up DL6 in court tomorrow. Uh, Mr. Edgeworth was your student, right? Uh, Roman, this... Ah, oh, wait a second. Kiss. I don't know. Who could never share that souvenir of tourism? Just like his father, always second-rate. Mr. Von Karma? You had an axe to grind with Mr. Gregory Edgeworth, didn't you? Me? Crash against a murder defense attorney? Why? Because he dealt a blow to your otherwise perfect trial record. Hmm. So you did. But what I don't get is... And did you take his son under your wing afterwards? Son of your most bitter rival. That, my god, Tony, is none of your business. Uh, what's supposed to do now? There's nothing to be here. Let's go. Oh, I must show him something. But of course. And he'll take this. Mr. Fonkara, have a look at this. This was you, wasn't it? You instructed Yanni Yogi to commit murder. Yanni Yogi? How many years has it been since I've heard him called by that name? He's a fool. I told him to burn it after he read it. So you admit it? You, you wrote Mr. Yogi on this letter. Yes, my dear Defense Turner. Thank you for taking the trouble to bring it to me. You've saved me from a lot of needless hustle. What? Hey, 
What is that scene? A stun gun. For cell defense, usually. In it. 600 thousand balls will cut through your body like a dog touching an electric fence. 600 thousand? Oh, don't worry. People don't die from it usually. Now give me the letter. No. What are you? Come on. And should I? Boy, out of my way. What? Two people against one old man? Are you kidding me? Very funny. He got us. The letter's gone, of course. And he took the DL6 evidence. All of it. Back to having no clues. Wait, my jump frost? My shaking. Hold on. My audio eyes. <laughs> so what, uh, did he take it? Of course. Yeah. Now you're key. And stop him. Jump as fast as I could, but mm, one shot from Zetsin knocked me out cold. <sighs> Why are you supposed to attack him? There's two of you! Obviously, both of you should run away in two different ways. You can always get this letter later. I thought he will be having something like, uh, I don't know, uh, how's it going? Lighter? And just simply put this letter on fire? <sighs> I'm useless. I'm no good as a lawyer or medium. Can't even call my sister. But even now, when we meet you the most. I don't know why you need it. I really think that she just pretends to be someone else. I wish I hadn't woken up at all. There has to be some way I can help her. Because being a medium is cheating in such games. I wanna do something about your self-confidence first. Yeah, she's holding something. What is it? A bullet? The sixth incident, evidence number seven, taken from the heart of Gregory Edgeworth. I remember, Von Karma was holding this when Maya jumped him. Okay, who it to you, Maya? Still burst, clear, ballistic mortals. You're most definitely not useless. I'll prove it to you, record tomorrow. Finally it's over. The most boring part is investigating everything around you know. <sighs> You should take a pause. I think yes. This is it. Judgment day. I'll take a pause here and be right back.
All right, back. Judgment Day. These things are going to get settled at last. A lot of things. It's a big idea. Sonia, and touch your shoulder. Guess the shock hasn't worn off from my one in with a stun gun yesterday. <laughs> what? Chicken and pot. Hey, how today is? On the last day of the trial. Good luck, Nick. Yeah, send smile. Hold on, I need to change the temperature here. Something like this. <sighs> Hedge horse is looking glum as always. Come from Karma doesn't push him to car. What are you doing? Sorry, I am sorry. I just thought I'd cheer you up with the part on the back. Fire. Maybe you should go outside and discharge? Right, good idea. Not to electrocute anyone you wait out. Let's go to the that girl. Become gumshoe. Morning? Mr. Edgeworth? Good morning. How did you do, detective? I have no fur. As promised, I captured our runaway Karateka. Just brought him in. Took all night long. Since Detective Gumshoe, he must be tired. Actually, after that shock I got on the way in, I feel pretty good. He says he's forgotten his own name. But that has to be a lie. How would he went revenge on Edgeworth if he couldn't remember his past? He does remember, and I'm going to prove it. Prove it. Crew is now in session for the trial of Miles Edgeworth. The defense is ready, Honor. Execution is ready. <clears throat> right, very well. We have reached the final day of our proceedings in this trial. And as said the prosecution, submit the seeds of evidence. How actually bullet can actually help? Burns clear ballistic markings. What does it mean? Understood. Don't be awed into silence by every little thing you say. Very well, Mr. Von Karma, your opening statement. Right. Since the Detective Gumshoe's efforts, the boat rental shop caretaker has been arrested. In this trial, the defense asserted that the caretaker was the murderer. However, the caretaker has yet to confirm this. I'd like to ask the defense to cross-examine him as much as necessary. Very well. Please bring the witness into the courtroom. Oh, wait a second, I just recall. His wife committed suicide. I can't do this. Ladies and gentlemen of the court, so this may cause the revenge, not his career. I believe you all remember our witness. He lives in the boat rental shop on the lake from where he witnessed the incident. In addition, he has currently lost his memory of his name and identity. Witness, why did you run away yesterday? Witness was not running away, as he will now testify. Nice. Very well, please begin your testimony. <sighs> hmm? Why I left court? Were you sorry about just leaving yesterday like I did? And I was running away or nothing. Uh, went to buy some food for policy. I figured I got nothing to do with the incident anyhow. 
I mean, I need one of those motive things, right? And I don't got one? No, okay, kids, this is a lie. So my testimony yesterday stands as is. Very well. Let's begin the cross-examination, shall we? He has to know his name. Yanni Yoga. Yanni Yoga, and I'm going to prove it. Okay, I'm very sorry about just leaving yesterday like I did. Hold it. Hold it! Hold it. I'd call what you did running away and not just leaving. Had Laurie's testimony and released, you were in danger. Now, Mr. Wright, there's no need to rush to conclusions. As I said, the witness was not running away. Listen to the testimony. She seems relaxed. But they both do, von Karma and Yanni Yogi. But I wasn't running away or nothing. Hold it. Then why did he leave? He's just about to say why. Is it so hard for you to just quietly listen when someone is talking? I said quietly, Edgeworths would be guilty of three minutes. I went to buy some food for policy. Hold it. Third. Well, policy beat of a gourmand. You see? She only eats this high quality uh, bird pellets from France. By the way, just recently I figured out that people in France actually not eaten everyday frogs. Frog meat. And surprised me because frog meat is pretty common meat in South of the United States. Like, you can go to Walmart and it's pretty cheap. Buy it, eat it. I get it as well. It's it's common food, and in France? They're frog eaters, and they actually not eating them? Why? First of all, it's, uh, like, nutritious, high quality, it's not something dangerous as uh, pork, meat, or something, just pure protein. Very strange, people, very strange. They only have them in the big pet shop downtown. But you went arrested until the next morning. Why didn't you go back to the caretaker's shack? Uh, well, I kind of got lost, you see. A witness has trouble remembering things sometimes. When the police apprehended him, he was on his way back to the shack. You're right, nice ride from Karma. No one's going to believe that. I see. So, he was lost. Easy on her, come to your senses. I feared I got nothing to do with this incident anyhow. Hold it. Hold it! Hold it! God. You've lost much of your memory, is that correct? Yep, seems like it. So how could you know that you didn't have anything to do with this incident? Uh, or, or maybe you are lying about not having your memory, huh? You know exactly who you are. The witness has testified quite clearly that he has no memory of who he is. You claim he's lying, then show the court proof. Am I supposed to prove that what's going on in that old codger's head? It's impossible. I'm glad you've come to your senses, Mr. Wright. Very well, witness, please continue. Yeah, I need one of those motive things, right? And I don't got one. Hold it. How can you say you had no motive? I say you do. You had a grudge against Edgeworth and the victim, Robert Hammond. That's why you took revenge on them, right? Don't make me repeat myself, Mr. Wright. This witness has no memory of anything beyond several years ago. I can't hold a grudge. It's impossible. I have to prove his line about his memory. 
Otherwise, it's going to be the same thing over and over until the trial ends. May I say something, Mr. Wright? Yes. Yes, Your Honor. Been saying the same thing now over and over. You've been calling the witness memory of the past or let the off into question. But does this really have anything to do with the current case? Of course, Your Honor. Witness has said he has nothing to do with this case and no motive. Most of these statements are lies. Hey, now I see why Karma actually did it three days before this. Because it will be the last day to prove guilty of Edgeworth from DL6. Order, order. Mr. Wright. But yet again, so what? He's risking his freedom for doing this. Mr. Wright, this is a serious problem, Mr. Khan. Or are you saying. Are you saying you know who this witness is? Of course, you know. Hmm? Oh, now this is interesting. I'd like to know myself, so who is here? Down for karma. Mr. Wright, please tell us this witness name. Gregory Edgeworth or Robert Hammond? Yanni Yoga. His name is Yanni Yoga, a former court bailiff. Yogi? His name seems familiar. Ah, oh, Yanni Yogi from the DL6 incident. I thought the judge would have heard of it. It was such a famous case. But what does this mean? Your Honor? If this man is Mr. Yogya, then he has a clear motive. Jumping to conclusions again, Mr. Wright. This man, this witness, is Yanni Yogya? Fascinating. However, how do you propose to prove this to the court? It's a court of law. As you may recall, you need a proof. And allow me to repeat once more, this witness has lost his memory. This is it. I have to do this now. I can't prove his yoga right here, right now. And I've got nowhere else to go. Hey, I'm going to prove it. How can you prove that he is Yanni Yoga? That's okay. It's actually quite simple. Your Honor. Please take this man's fingerprints. Then we'll compare them to the fingerprints on file for Yanni Yogi 15 years ago and file is gone. I see that makes sense. Huh? So very very sorry, Mr. Wright. Why? Witness has no fingerprints. What? No fingerprints? But it's impossible. You see, before I work as a caretaker, I work at a chemical plant. No matter what, if you damage it by using chemicals, two months is enough to get them back. Why well, my fingers are working with the stuff? Yep. What? The sneak. So compound DNA. You burnt your fingerprints off to hide your past. Hmm. Well, if the witness has no fingerprints, guess you'll not be able to prove his identity. No. Well, what will you do, Mr. Wright? Hmm. Seems that the case has been decided. No. No. I know what happened. I know everything. I can't prove it. But no, I can't let it end like this. I can't lose. There has to be another way. There's no one who can testify as to who this witness is. No one. What are you going to do? Don't even consider that he might have erased his fingerprints. What do you do? Well, Mr. Wright. Perhaps you'd like to cross-examine the parrots for a little comic relief, hmm? Let's examine the parrot. Yeah, yeah, very funny. You're so winner. 
Oh, karma. Wait a second. Cross examine the parrot? Who does it, Nick? Well, you're not going to. Your honor. The defense would like to take Mr. Von Karma up on his proposal. Take Mr. Von Karma up? His proposal? Exactly, Your Honor. I would like to cross examine the witness pet parrot. Order! Order! Well, what do you think, Mr. Von Karma? Did you even ask? This is a farce. I object. Wait a second, you were the one who suggested I cross-examine the parrot, von Karma. I have a right to do as you just suggested. Well, if you're so desperate, then please be my guest. Of course, should you go through with this, and nothing comes of it, I hope you're ready for the consequences. Yes, this is crazy. Well, still want to go through with your little game? No, maybe not. Let the parrot take the stand. I will cross-examine you, Your Honor. It's the most ridiculous thing I have ever heard. I almost leaked every person's testimony, every piece of evidence, except the parrot. Which is my last chance. At least I think so. Well, let's bring in the parrot. That's quite a bird. Please tell us your name. Name. The witness is ignoring me. It must hurt to be ignored by birds. <clears throat> Very well, witness. Who's your owner, please? Uh, testify for us. Who is your owner? Hello, hello. <laughs> hmm, certainly the most contestable we've had so far. Might be concise, I don't know, I don't care. Very well, begin your cross examination. Right. What are you going to do, Nick? I don't know. What do we do, Maya? Uh, she didn't say hello, hello to me, yeah, but okay. Hold it. A witness, you can't just say hello and expect us to get anywhere. I want you to testify. Maya, you talk to her. Right, uh... What do I say? Oh, what's your name? We should get here to say her name. Polly, Polly, what's your name? Polly, Polly. It's so right. I think you established that, that this parrot is named Polly. Does this have anything to do with your honor identity? Of course. Yes, it does. Fascinating. You claim that the parrot's name will prove your owner's identity? Then show us this proof. Hey, don't you think you're taking the bluffing a little too far? Listen, we had to answer the questions who is the caretaker? We had to prove that he is Yanni Yogi. All we have to do is tie the name Polly to Yogi. Your honor, the proof that the parrot's name reveals the caretaker's identity is. Ah, I remember something. Oh, wait, sorry. This one. Take that! The DL6 case file? It's quite a large file you have there. Which page is this proof on then? Third one, show us or stop wasting our time. Very well, Mr. Wright, please show us the page. That was Stephen Six. Mm -hmm. 
Where in this file is information connected to this parrot's name? Oh my god, it's not just number of the page. Suspect data. It's in the suspect data page. For data? Data? This page has all the information about Yanni Yu. Right after he was arrested, his fiance committed suicide, see? Indeed, it does say that, yes. What was his fiance's name? Oli Jenkins. Jenkins. <laughs> Leroy Jenkins. Jenkins is the CICD application as well. Exactly, Ono. I remember the name of Hans, fiance who committed suicide. That's why he named his parrot after her. I see. I guess that is possible. There, mere coincidence. That's all. My granddaughter has a dog she called Phoenix. Well, Mr. Phoenix, right? Does this make you my granddaughter's fiance? Yes. She's only seven years old. Hmm, you need. Alone, it is a little weak for evidence in a murder trial. But need some other corroborating evidence. I'm not going to find that. You're getting closer. One more. You can just get one more piece of evidence. Right, but what? Very well, witness, uh, you may continue. What else is this file? The date. And the case name. Hold it. Witness, you had to speak. You must speak to me. Frankie can believe that you are speaking to the bird. Well, guess we should try to got, get some information out of you. This shows the judge that your owner is Mr. Yogi. Hold it. Hold it! Hold it. This already hurt. So actually all of them... What's the save number? Maybe I get you to save the number of that save. Everything's related. Huh? The save? Why? Just try to get you to say anything, okay? Polly, what's the number of the safe in the shop? 1228. 1228. Ah, what a reckless spirit. Well, Mr. Wright, you aren't claiming that this number has something to do with the character. Huh? Actually, it does. Actually, it does. That's why I had you say it. Ha, <laughs> ridiculous. How can the number to the safe tell us who the caretaker is? Show us your proof. What could possibly link this number to the caretaker's true identity? Take that! Take that! Del-6 case file? What is this obsession you have with that case? Mr. Wright, when this file is something related to that safe number, case summary. It's on the case summary page. Case summary. Specifically, the date on which the Del-6 incident occurred. Of the incident, December 28th? Why is it today's date? 15 years ago! And the number on that safe is 1228. Ah! Use the date of the DL6 incident and the number for his safe, Your Honor. It's how important that date was to him. I see. It certainly is an interesting coincidence. People often do set their second numbers to dates. Me? Never. Objection. But this is not tangible proof. I set my ATM card's number to 0001 because I'm number one. <laughs> Can you even set this? Has nothing to do with the date. Nothing. That's enough. I think we'll reach a conclusion here. It's a mere coincidence. That's all. True. That is a possibility. However, two coincidences at the same time seems more like a pattern to me. What are you saying? 
summon the caretaker of the boss shop immediately. A witness. Tell us your name. Wait. He's witness. He doesn't remember. No. It's okay. I have accomplished what I wanted to do. I am done. Yeah, she looks totally different. She's a real joy, I think. Finally. He's been acting. Feeble to hide his true identity. Acting for 15 years. Well, let me ask you again. Please state your name for the card. My name is Yanayoyu. Eight years ago, I served as a bailiff in this very court. Order, order! Yanayoyu. So was it you who killed Robert Hammond? And tried to free Miles Edgers for his death? Yes, it was me. I did it. They put me on the witness stand 15 years ago. Robert Hammond, he said I was mentally unsound. He told me it would make me innocent, get me off the hook. But the excellent murder is still a murder, as I said, so I pretended to have brain damage. I was innocent, really. He didn't believe me. He won the trial, but I lost everything. I lost my job, my fancy, my social standing. Yet again, how social standing is related to this, I have zero understanding. Are you going to everyone and telling your past? That you're a murderer or insane? Good. Then this year, 15 years later, a package arrived, it was a letter and a pistol. The plan was written out in careful detail. It was a plan for me to take my revenge on the people who ruined my life. Who care who had sent it? So this was my chance after 15 years. This was it. I had a chance to have my revenge on Robert Hammond and Miles Edgeworth. I have no regrets. Wait a moment. Revenge? Against Miles Edgeworth? What do you mean? I'm not at liberty to speak on that matter. Why don't you ask Mr. Edgeworth yourself? Anyway, I admit that I was the one who killed Robert Hammond. That's a different case, it cannot be reviewed in this day. But Karma? Where is Mr. Yulia? Under arrest, Yono? I saw no room for error on his confession. Then, when Mr. Edgeworth is innocent? In this case, at least. Hmm. Very well. You know the defendant, please take the stand. The few mysteries left unsolved. Still, you are cleared of suspicion for this particular case. So, I'd like to pass judgment on the murder of Mr. Robert Hammond. Any objections? I don't believe it. Why isn't Von Karma saying anything? Very well. This court finds the defendant, Mr. Miles Edgeworth. The case is done. That is all. The court is adjourned. Objection! Did someone just say objection? It wasn't from Karma. Wait, what's that means? No. Edgeworth? Oh. Your Honor, I object to your judgment. What do you mean? I'm not innocent at all. As we have heard, Yane Yogi killed Robert Hammond in revenge. Revenge for what? Hey, actually is trying to confess. He's going to say he's guilty. He's gonna tell them he was a murderer in the DL6 internet. He's going to tell them he killed his own dad. What do I do? Otherwise, an objection. 
judgment has already been passed. I object to Edgeworth's outburst. Will something like this happen yesterday too? I believe a certain witness arise an objection after a guilty verdict was passed. Bilari. You must hear this new statement. Let's hear Miles Edgeworth. That's right. Have a duty to hear Mr. Edgeworth out. For 15 years. I had a recurring dream. A nightmare. It's only a nightmare. That's what I told myself. I just consume B at 12 before going to sleep and there will be no sleep. Well, uh, I mean, no dream, sorry. But now I know. It wasn't a dream. Yane Yogi wasn't the killer. You mean in the incident where your father died? From the distance of the shot, it wasn't suicide either. Everything was as clear as day. The murderer. The criminal in the DL6 incident is Karma. No, it was he. You wonder, I confess my guilt. I'm guilty for DL6, the statute of limitations of which ends today. Culprit is me. Order, order. This is certainly unexpected. Defendant declared innocent is confessing to a different crime. Crime for which the statute of limitations runs out today. I'm not really sure how I should deal with this. So obvious. You should have hold the trial right here, right now. He tried this man for his crime of 15 years ago. I think I think I would like to take a five minute recess. During this time I will consider the appropriate course of action to take. For this adjourned. Sorry, right? I just wasted all of your effort. Mr. Edgeworth, I just don't believe it, Paul. I mean, you kill your dad? I didn't want to believe it myself, Detective. But it's the truth. You deserve to be punished. Murder is murder, no matter what the circumstances. But in this case, guilty as this murder will be Yugi again? Because he starts the attack? <laughs> yes, strange what? This is just crazy. Nick? What are you doing? Uh, uh, I was just reading through the court records once more. I'm getting my case ready. The case? For what? Huh? Isn't it obvious? I'm going to prove that Miss Miles Edgeworth is innocent. What are you talking about, Paul? He just admitted to it. Confess that he did it in court. Search was. But I don't believe your nightmare. What? It's just a dream. It's not real. The truth is right here in this court record. In any case, tighten your belts. The real fight is just beginning. So where did I read that there were two shots? The murder weapon was fired twice. That's it. So, this patch we used and this patch as well. Here the case is very easy. I'll prove you're innocent. Trust me. Right. Yeah, Miles was just insane. He's lost his memory. <laughs> He's innocent. And I would like to resume our trial. Judge, Mas Edgeworth has admitted his own guilt. He has confessed his crime. Let's begin by hearing his testimony. And so, pointless, let the defense do their cross examination A statute of limitations of the DL6 incident runs out today. Though it's unconventional now for me. I'd like to run this one by the book. I see. Does the defense have any objections? 
No, you know. On Karma, you knew this was going to happen from the very beginning, didn't you? Very well. Will Miles Edgeworth take the stand? Will the witness state his name and profession? Miles Edgeworth, I am prosecuting attorney. Mr. Edgeworth, 18 years ago, you mistakenly killed your father, Gregory Edgeworth. Is this correct? It is correct. And testify about this matter to the court. When Edgeworth was telling me about his thing yesterday, I noticed something. One detail didn't quite fit. It will be a big key, but only if I can get it to work. Please, please. <sighs> that day, I had gone to the courtroom to observe one of my father's trials. As I went to leave, an earthquake struck, trapping us in the elevator. My father, Mr. Yogi, lost their composure and began to argue. Just then, something heavy fell at my feet. I picked it up and threw it at Mr. Yogi. I wanted them to stop fighting. A moment later, there was a single gunshot near the scream. It was a terrible scream. I remember it to this day. That's all. Hmm. And until now, you saw this memory was a dream? We were stuck in that elevator for five hours. Oxygen in the elevator ran out, and I lost my memory of the events. Claim Mr. Yuga has made. Very well. Mr. Wright, your cross examination, please. Yes, Your Honor. Alright, when they had gone to the courtroom to observe one of my father's trials. Hold it. Hold it! What was the trial your father was involved in on that day? I don't remember things very clearly. Only two things. I know my father lost, and Mr. Von Karma was a prosecutor attorney. Mr. Von Karma? You were handing that case? It was 15 years ago. I don't remember the details. It was when Edgeworth pointed out the problem in Von Karma's evidence. As you went to leave, an earthquake struck, trapping us in the elevator. Hold it. So there was there were three people, including yourself, trapped in that elevator. Yes, myself, my father, and Yanni Yogi. We'll find it first. But then a time passed, and no one came to help. My father and Mr. Yogi lost their composure and began to argue. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it! What did you do then? It was nine year old boy. I was nine year old boy at the time. What could I do? I was scared, trembling in the corner. But then, just then, something heavy fell at my feet. Hold it. What was it? A pistol. I assume it was the bailiff. Yanni Yogis. Safety must have come all when it fell from his holster. And he picked it up. What happened next? Pick it up and threw it at Mr. Yogi. I wanted them to stop fighting. Hold it. Hold it. Oh my god. Hold it! Hold it! How hard to make it work? Did you know it was a pistol when you threw it? I think I knew. I knew it was dangerous. But the air was getting so thick, I panicked. So you're saying that you threw the pistol at Mr. Yogi? That was. Here it is. You won't mind if there was a single gunshot. Hold it. Supposed to be two. The gun fired once. Yes. I think after I threw it, I lost. Consciousness. Since then, 
that echoed in my head every day. The gunshot and that terrible, horrible scream. The scream. This terrible scream are my to this day. Should I press on it right now? Maybe not. Objection? Are you sure you only heard one gunshot? Yes, I'm sure of that. Heard the shot and the scream. Then everything faded. I was unconscious until the rescuers came. I see. But it doesn't make sense. Look at this file one more time. The, this plainly contradicts the witness testimony. You do enjoy dragging out that file, don't you? Accept this evidence unless you tell us what page it's on. Which page contradicts Miles Edgeworth's testimony? Victim data? I think. Look at the victim's data on this file. On this, file. this is quite plainly too. Uh, the murder weapon was fired twice. Mm, Miles Edgeworth only heard one gunshot. And the murder weapon was fired twice. The first shot was the accidental firing when the pistol was thrown. So, who fired the remaining shot? Hmm. Was there perhaps another shooter who fired that second shot? Your Honor, as I'm sure you're aware, this incident occurred 15 years ago. The evidence is dated. The pistol did fire twice. However, we do not know when the second shot was fired. It might have been fired the day before the incident. There is no proof that the second shot had anything to do with this incident. But... I see, I see. You do have a point, right? The model weapon was fired twice, as we have heard. One of those shots was fired by the defendant? A boy at the time. Do you have any proof that the other shot was fired? Fired had something to do with the case? I don't know. Oh yeah, I have. Yes. Your Honor, I think I will be able to show you proof. What? Impossible. Now, now, Mr. Von Karma, save you surprise, for after you've been uh, seen the evidence. Very well, Mr. Wright, show us your proof. Do you have evidence that the second firing of the pistol is re related to this incident? Of course. Take that. Take that! Look at this photograph. More than that! I wonder. So it was not Karma who shot. This should be Karma. Not him. Nobody opens the elevator door, so there was no possibility to grab this weapon. I actually thought it will be him. This is a photograph of the scene of the crime 15 years ago. And see that the victim lying there is Gregory Edgeworth. This proves the murder weapon was fired twice at the time of the incident. This photo proves it. So let me get this straight. This photo proves two shots were fired. Where? Please, please get a clue. Show the judge the contradiction in the photo. Well, obviously this one. As should be obvious, the contradiction is here. I see a bullet hole in the door. Your Honor. Gregory Edgeworth was killed by a shot from the pistol. And there's also a bullet hole in the elevator's door. He also know that the murder weapon was fired twice. That someone other than Edgeworth fired that second shot. Order, order! It's alright. What are you driving at? 
Also, uh, what karma made it? What a mistake made karma. He used only one gun here, this one at the beginning. That fired three times. If they used just two guns, they would avoid this. Like it fired twice, and that's all. Simple Yono. At the time of the incident, two shots were fired. One went in. Also, I don't understand how they actually figured out that there were several shots on just ones. One went into Gregory Edgeworth's heart and they hit the elevator door. Remember that the defendant lost consciousness after the shot he fired rang out. In conclusion, you must agree that the second shot was fired by someone else. Still right, but who could set someone else be? The murder, of course. What do you want? I knew I should have stepped in before your wild fantasies got out of hand. Mr. Wright, look once more at the DL6 incident case file. Look closely. Try the case summary page. Oh, it's on the case summary page. What do you want? And later was oxygen planet at the time of incident. No clues found in the stand. So what? Case summary. That's on page one. Look what is written there. Not a single clue was found on the stand. Here the pistol had indeed been fired two times. And the other bullet would have been discarded on the stand. It was outside. It does have a point. That second bullet has now been found. Why? Because the second bullet does not exist. So what about this hole in the elevator? The bullet that claimed Gregory Edgeworth's life was the one fired by his own son. It is the truth of this matter, the whole truth. It was undoubtedly something else that made the bullet hole in the door. Order? And we have order! Mr. Wright has proven one thing to us quite clearly. The motor weapon was fired twice at the time of the incident. However, as Mr. Von Karma says, the second bullet fired was not found. It's highly unlikely that the police merely overlooked the second bullet. So, all we have is the single bullet fired. But I have to discount the defense's claim. I prize the judge for his wisdom in this matter. How does this happen? I don't believe that the second bullet didn't exist. Was I wrong? I've been wrong about this whole incident? Obviously not. What are you doing, Nick? Why aren't you writing an objection? Sorry, Maya. What? Uh, it looks like I was wrong. Nick? The second bullet wasn't there. Then all my conjectures. Half an answer. No. You see, you do it, Nick. You say you get Edgeworth declared innocent. I need to make some more here. Just when I saw that photograph, I thought that two shots had been fired. I was so sad of it. I thought I won. I thought there was another person, someone else, who fired the killing shot. But now. I was wrong to think it could be that symbol. This case has stood and sold for 15 years. Look. Well, it seems that we have finally cleared up this incident. Only one bullet was found at the scene of the crime. The shot was fired by Miles Edgeworth. Precisely. I'd like to ask one scene of Miles Edgeworth before passing my verdict. Have you been paying attention to the trial so far? Yes, you know. Do I have any objections? No. No, I don't. Do not. So you killed your father? So that was not your intention? Yes, I did. Oh no. It's confessing. Very well, the statute of limitations on the murder of Gregory Edgeworth runs out today. Therefore, I must pronounce a verdict on the defendant of the day right here. 
right now. Indeed. Does anyone have any objections? I've been here before. It's like my first name card. So many things I know I should be saying. Mine's gone wrong. I can't find the words. Mr. Wright, I have an objection. objection. Your Honor, I object. Mr. Wright, on what grounds do you object, hmm? Nick? I don't know, his, his kiss is perfect. Oh no. It must exist. Second bullet. What? Did you just say? Nothing? Second bullet must exist. But where? Someone took it. But it's obvious! Why do we need any help? Seems waiting is not going to produce us any answers from Mr. Wright. Wait, Your Honor. I am. The second bullet. It, uh, it exists. What? But you just heard proof that it didn't exist. How is that, Your Honor? I'm already casting you. It's just someone took it from the scene of the crime. That's what happened. But who? The murderer. The murderer? Can you tell us just who's the murderer? Still thinking about that one. So the criminal took the second bullet. Why would he? First of all, how would he have found it? It's not easy to find a stray bullet, Mr. Wright. Was there some pressing need for the murderer to search for the bullet? The murderer didn't need it. Would the murderer have spent the time to look for that stray bullet? Got a clue. What's wrong, Mr. Wright? The murderer had no reason to take that bullet. Don't want to admit it, but it's true. Had to take it. Had to take it? The murderer, what does it mean? You're thinking too normal. Think crazy. Why should you think crazy? It's kinda obvious. In normal way, if you think about it. Don't think why the bullet was taken. Think why their bullet had to be taken. Mr. Wright. Yes, Your Honor. I have no idea what I'm doing. Well, the murderer had no intention of taking the bullet from the stand. But the murderer had to take that bullet. Had to, Mr. Wright? What do you mean? Well, for instance, it's a SWAT. Maybe the bullet uh, hit the murderer? The bullet hit the murderer? Just saying, for instance. I mean, if it hit you, you would have to take it with you, wouldn't you? It's not like you could perform surgery right there. You know? Wait a second. I was just talking all the top of my head, but what if that's really what happened? Let me get this straight. So, at the time of the murder, the murderer himself was shot, and he left with the second bullet still inside? Thus leaving only one bullet at the scene of the crime? Yes. I guess that's how it would work, yes. But there's a problem with that. The other two people rescued from that elevator, whilst Edgeworth and Yanni Yogi were both unharmed. So that would mean... The murderer came from outside, yes. I still don't know how he was able to use this weapon, but okay. The two men fired inside the elevator. Trying to stop them, the boy picks up the pistol and his feet at his feet and throws it. The pistol discharged, and the bullet. The bullet goes through the elevator door and hits the murderer outside. The boy loses consciousness. Then the murderer opens the elevator door. He's supposed to know how to open the door. Can't believe this. And sees a man inside. Hmm. 
Mr. Wright, you are truly the most unpredictable defense attorney I've ever known. I tell you, Raspin, yet I cannot deny the possibility of what you say. What do you say and deny? Deny it! You even walked with the incident was wounded. There's no murder. No one was wounded at the time of the incident. He's right. I can't think of anyone. Except himself. Penny. Huh? It's just sort of something very really crazy. Crazy? Remember what Mr. Grossberg said yesterday? Congratulate Ash Edgeworth dealt a blow to his perfect trial record. I don't know, it's so obvious and why Wright's so confused about this uh, It must have been quite a shock for Von Karma. He took a vacation for several months after that, you see? Yes, an unusual went for the man. It was the first and the last vacation he's taken his many years of persecuting. What if Von Karma didn't take that vacation because of shock? but took it because he was injured. It should mean... It could only mean one thing. He was the murderer in the DL6 incident. He was the man who shot Gregory Edgeworth. But in this case, he's supposed to remove this bullet himself. Because if he actually uh, go to some emergency, etc., it will be filed to the police. It was on karma. Oh man. Something wrong, Mr. Wright? You seem dazed? No, you're. Well, you have indicated this possibility that the murderer came from outside. Oh, wait, sorry. Can you give us the name of your suspect? Uh oh, should I come out and say that now? Say it now. Your Honor, this is suspect. One long suspect. Well, this is certainly interesting news. Very well, Mr. Wright. Who is your suspect? My hands are shaking. What? Von Karma. Von Karma? How can you say what when it's Von? I double English as well. Spawn in other languages. You mean a bear from Carol? The prosecutor? Sitting right there? You don't object? See no need. Why honor this ridiculous outburst? With my objection, ridiculous. Because you took a vacation for several months starting the day after the incident. Yet you write yourself on a perfect record. Why would you take such a low vacation without any reason? So you're claiming that I took a vacation to heal my injury from the incident? Fascinating. Prove it. I would have needed surgery, no? Where did I go under that knife head, Mr. Wright? Bring the doctor that operated me, have him testify. Nick, let's find out who his doctor is. Hello, Kyle Kyle. And so yes. So here, I return on Tuesday. Edgeworth. I know from Karma behaves too well. He's perfect. He wouldn't leave clues. So... <sighs> he took help from emergency and killed everyone after this. He probably didn't undergo surgery. I would leave a doctor as a witness. Nobody says perfect. Oh, we can detect those bullets. The bullets still inside of him? That's stupid, because you can remove it yourself, I know this. So what then? Who from Karma pull the bullet out by himself? That's insane. I know it's insane. No, he couldn't have. You can't just pull bullets out of yourself, I simply don't know why. Wait, what does it mean? That bullet has to be somewhere, but where? Well, Mr. Wright, 
I mean, it's not uh, really a problem to remove it. Well, if it's not inside your internal organs somewhere. But hands, legs, shoulders, etc. Well, let's see. Show sure, evidence. I have metal detector. Alright, from Karma. I'll prove it. And uh, even use evidence. I know how you like it so much. What? The evidence that proves from Karma was shot is. This? Take that? Take that! Karma is perfect. He will risk surgery, leaving an evidence trail. So then, I ask, where is that bullet now? I think it's unlikely is that Von Karma performed surgery on himself. Well, if it was his head, so yeah, it's 100% uh, sure that you cannot remove it yourself. You, you don't mean... I know. And sometimes they actually leave bullets inside your head. Because it's too risky to remove. There's a possibility that the bullet is still inside from Karma. Is that even possible for all this yet? Well, there's one way to find out. I could use this metal detector. Well, from Karma. I'm going to run this over you and see what we find. But looks like it's his shoulder. I refuse. You refuse? But refusing this means you unknowledge that the bullet is still inside you? Order, order, order! Your honor. The defense requests that we be allowed to use the metal detector. Just a call for a suspension of this trial. It's an invasion of privacy. The statute of limitations runs out on this case today. It was you who said we had to end it right here, right now. Enough. I permit the use of the metal detector. Mr. Von Karma, you will submit yourself to testing. What does this mean? I don't know, but we have to give it a shot. <laughs> and... Where was it? Tracted. Something inside his right shoulder. Okay, shoulder. The bullet. Mr. Von Karma? You. It was you. I was afraid this would happen. And so, I remained silent. And it says a bullet in my shoulder. However, it's nothing to do with this incident. But I was shot in the shoulder long before the DL6 incident. I claim that the bullet in my shoulder has no relation to DL6. That's why we have the second bullet. But Mr. Von Karma, can you prove that? Prove? Have no obligation to prove anything. It is you who must prove something here, Mr. Wright. Not I. Mr. Wright? Well, can you prove it? Can you prove that the bullet in Von Karma's shoulder was from DL6? Of course he can't. You don't have any of the DL6 evidence. It's because you took it out of the records room yesterday. It's no proof you can convict me of any crime. So sorry, Mr. Wright. No, I'm the one who is sorry, Mr. Von Karma. What? You were close, one day away from freedom. You see, I have proof. What? Who would have thought you would have dug your own grave trying to convict Edgeworth? I can link that bullet in your shoulder 
is a DL6 incident. Not a single mistake, by the way, so far. And here's my final proof. Take that. Take that. Well, that's... A bullet. Did you get that? Here's a bullet used in the DL6 incident. This was taken from the heart of the victim, Mr. Gregory Edgeworth. The bullet is preserved quite nicely, with all the ballistic markings intact. Ballistic markings? You may recall the term. It came up in the first trial two days ago. Ballistic markings are the fingerprints of a weapon. All bullets fired from a gun are marked with that weapon's unique pattern. By examining the markings, you can tell which weapon fired the bullet. It's quite accurate. I have two bullets in our possession. One the bullet removed from Gregory Edgeworth's heart. The other, Mr. Fokarma, is the bullet brought in your shoulder. You could analyze both bullets. Then, is the markings matched? My question is, if the bullet was stuck in the body for so long, can it be... I mean, the surface of it dissolved by using blood, etc., or liquids? Like, there could be no markings at all on it. There will be a metal bullet, but that's it. We would know that both bullets had been fired from the same gun, the very same pistol. In other words, the murder weapon that killed Gregory Edgeworth. Mr. Von Karma, you will let us remove the bullet from your shoulder. Then we'll compare the ballistic markings to those on this bullet. And so this is once and all. Well, Mr. Von Karma? Too many flashes here. Too many. <clears throat> that scream. I have heard that scream before. Wait, I know. Help, I can press. Quite. I read it for the third time already. Get away. Get away from my father. It's a scream I heard in the elevator. 15 years ago. From karma. It was you who screamed. Mr. Von Karma? Vietnam flashbacks? Only you would... So it was you. It's a new... new sprite from the back. Didn't your father, of course. Father shamed me with a penalty on my record. And you, you left a scar on my shoulders that would never fade. Who are you? I lost a lot. Fifteen years earlier. Mr. Chief Prosecutor, I'm sorry. Karma, it's not like you to make this kind of error. And I would have thought that Edgeworth would be the one to catch you. I was careless. I'm sorry, but you will have to be penalized. Of course, for you in the past, but not this time. Edgeworth. It was a shock like none I had ever known. Me? Penalized? It took hours for me to regain my composure. Suddenly, I found myself in the darkness. I was in the court records room. I sat wondering in there without thinking where I was going. It was pitch black. The lights must have gone out. I went out 
in the hall and felt my way to the elevator. I pressed the button, but and nothing happened. Then there was a noise. I was in pain. Horrible, burning pain in my shoulder. Just then, the lights came back on. The water door opened before my eyes. Oh, that's how he opened it. And that's why he was using the left hand all the time. I saw three people inside, all lying unconscious from oxygen deprivation. Much to my surprise, a pistol lay at my feet. I knew them. It was my destiny. In his last moments, Gregory Edgeworth was still unconscious. He died, never knowing who had shot him. Maybe he spoke through a medium, blaming Mr. Yogi. He was fooled. It was the perfect crime. Who would have thought another man would have come to open that elevator door? In this case, you cannot trust ghosts in this world. Judge. What? What are you doing? Do your job, bring an end to this miserable charade. No, end it. Very well. It appears that we have come a very long way to the end of this maze. 15 years later. Miles Edgeworth? Yes, you know. You were innocent. You are innocent. As you said, it was all a nightmare. Yes, you know. Let's go and find the defendant, Mr. Miles Edgeworth. Not guilty again. And so, the court is adjourned. Did it? Did you see his face? Von Karma looked even paler than usual. He's pretending to be all cool, but inside you crushed him. Crushed. I don't say I'm impressed. It was pretty close, so I was sure we had had it. I know I was on the verge of tears the whole time myself. But now it's all just a good memory. So it's finally over, Edgeworth. Right. Yeah. I'm not sure how to say this. I know, I know. Try thank you. Uh, I see. Thank you, right. You're welcome. I think you could have done better than that. Sorry, I'm not good at this sort of things. There was a lot to learn, Edgeworth. Amazing Paul, you pulled through just like I thought you would. I never forget this. Oh you want, Paul. And tonight, let's party him dinner on me. Yeah, my salary went down a bit this month. But who cares? Say Mr. Richworth, you should take a lesson from Detective Gumshaw. That's how you say thank you. No, you're saying thank you by using words thank you and nothing else. I see. Whoop. I feel foolish. Don't worry, take it a little at a time. Don't get used to it. It's been 15 years since I've seen Edgeworth this unguarded. Hey yo. Mother. No way, great on them. Thank you. No edgeworth. Congrats. Thank you very much. I knew you were innocent from the start, of course. Just look at you, you wouldn't stick your hand in the cookie jar even if no one was there. You were the witness on the first day of the trial, weren't you? Yeah, well, let my guns be my guns. Speaking of which, uh, what are you doing now, Lothar? 
for me? I went back to college. I gave up trying to be an investigative photographer, basically. Really? That's too bad. Isn't that the hot dog guy from the park? Hmm? It's Ornik. My life is over. The sad face, Larry. What happened now? Ornik, I'm not long for this world. Don't look sick. It's the answer. She's going to live in Paris. Paris, Nick. Just leave me behind. Larry, Larry. Watch him. There you are. Yes, here I am. Nice action. Here, a little gift from me in celebration. Celebration? That's unusual for you. Hi, Mats. Hey, Mats, you come along. Tonight, too. My red spell. Hey, Sense, looking forward to it. Let's see that question be. When he, when he says threat, that's not police talk for prison food, right? Right? I think you'll be a final array. Right. Yeah, what's up? That's envelope that Larry gave me. It's got money in it. So they eat dollars? Well, yeah, that's not that strange. People give money away to celebrate something. It's so they eat dollars, right? But what a weird amount, I mean, it's not a little, but it's not a lot easier. So they ate exactly? Nick, yeah. isn't that exactly the amount of lunch money that was stolen from Mr. Edgeworth in school? So they ate? No! No, Larry, it was you! You're so, surpri so surprised about, right? Huh? Maria was absent that day from school, right? But that doesn't automatically rule him out as a suspect. What? Think back to uh, that day, 15 years ago. Larry took the day off, but he was bored. He came into school anyway. And he saw the money lying there, and the rest is history. And I was good at history. You didn't know, did you? I suspected. Just couldn't picture Larry protecting you like he did that day. Everyone else was saying you did it. The whole class was against you, remember? Yeah, too well. Right. We may not know this, but we used to have a same back in school. When something smells, it's usually the bad. I don't know. Very right. I'm surprised you didn't figure it out. Well, this is sure an unexpected turn of events, huh? Patchworks. Hmm. You should have told me. Now, now, Nick. It was 15 years ago. Do you think the statute of limitations has run out, Mr. Patchworks? I'd say so, yes. There you have it. Yes, it did me. I became a defense attorney because of what you two did. Well, I call you a good to shoes, next thing. Yeah. And you get work up to easily too. Yes. This sentence of a boss of you. And if I only had known, I'd become a prosecutor. The same goes for me, only the other way around. For the longest time, I thought that I might have killed my own father. I thought I might be a criminal. I became a prosecutor, in part to punish myself. If I had known the truth, I might have become a defense attorney at all. That's yours. Want to see, right? Yes. Here you are, uh, line up. I'll take a photo. Hey, for the time, let's go! And after that, dinner on you. Little Gumshoe took us out on the town that night. We celebrated Edgeworth's newfound freedom. 
Also, Edgeworth was still in detention. I went a little overboard yesterday. My head hurts. Hmm? It's only fine. Maybe I should go back to sleep. Why is he sleeping in his own office? Hmm? What's this? A letter? Good morning, Nick. You were very impressive yesterday. Seeing you made me think about what I'm doing here. I'm a spirit medium. In training, of course. I want to help Mr. Edgeworth too. I want to help you. But I couldn't. I was useless. So I decided to go back to my training. I'll become a flu-fledged spirit medium, for starters. I not say it to your face, so I left this letter. Goodbye, Nick. Goodbye? What time is it? Those trains for the mountains have already left to the station. I guess I'm too late. I wonder why so many foreigners thinking that this is what you see in the pictures is metro and underground. It's just regular trains, they're not related. They have different subway systems, different. Underground, of course. Hey, Nick, Maya. Well, I'm talking about Japan, of course. So, you're leaving? No. Yeah. It's hard being a spirit medium who can't talk to spirits. And. I think you'll do fine without me, Nick. Be good, okay? Wait. What? I never could have saved Edgeworth without your help. Huh? On the last day of the trial, I hurt you. I hurt Mia's voice. I hurt my sister. Yes, only her voice, but still. It was at the very end when I thought we all lost everything. Well, that's my sister for you. Her gumshoe helped, uh, Mr. Grossberg, and even Larry. I'm the only one who couldn't help, I was useless, Nick. But you were the one who stopped from karma, Maya. Huh? I didn't do anything. All I did was wander around in a daze. So anybody have evidence that you helped? Evidence? I wonder what if I select the wrong evidence. It doesn't matter. Take that. Take that! Take that! A bullet? And Karma was convinced. He had taken all the evidence, pertaining to DL6. But you were the one who rescued the last piece of evidence we needed. This was the bullet that put an end to Von Karma. And you were the one who gave it to me? Me. Yeah. Just smile. I couldn't have done it without you. I'll be back soon. Huh? I'm going to complete my training and come back. Okay. I'll be waiting. Because you will, you can run that office by itself. You're hopeless. I don't know about that. So, bye. Bye. So, this ends the original game. So, there was nothing else except this and the original Game Boy Advance version. And so, my story ends. Time to turn on a new page and say goodbye to the noise and defense attorney that I once was. Thank you for the Now a new story begins. It's the same old crazy cast of characters. Okay, I'm not going to read this. Oh my god, I have no team. <sighs> And where's the credits? Oh, here are the credits. So they will be there next case, or it was only on 3 days. Supposed to be. Talk about 
this is a surprise. Well, did him Gamsha? Then he hung his head low and went right back outside. Kind of like he was embarrassed or something. Strange, huh? Yes, yeah, there's supposed to be a... the other case, I don't know. On 3DS it was. Should be. I don't know about the DS. Hmm, Nick? Can't seen him lately. For me, I've been working at a cheese shop. It's... This is a nice lady, but she... Come on, why is it going so fast? She's in Hawaii right now. So she located to Hawaii. Instead of France. Yeah, I remember him. How he's been busy lately. You know, not to ring my own bell, but I sort of told him everything he knows. I'm sure he's grateful. But of course. Well, if it will not be here, I'll play it on 3 Yeah, it's right. Huh? Oh, the defense attorney for, for whom I wrote that. Defense. I have taken our manager of Gotham Hotel recently. Should you be in the area, please stop by. Why is this subtle so fast? Hmm? How it's you? Phoenix right? Oh, yes, Mia's understudy, was he not? I wonder how he's doing. I haven't seen him a little. The days of my youth. Like the scent of fresh lemon, you see. Phoenix, right? He an actor? Well, I'm not buying it. You couldn't be a star with a name like Phoenix. You know that? Oh my god, it's even faster than it should be. What was about the DVD? To announce the Pink Princess is a hit. I show all that, Mr. Wright, a great deal. Oh, I am keeping my face out of the public eye. Don't want to ruin any kids' dreams, you know. Wendy Alba, a wind bug. I also thought that she will be the killer. Got a letter. Sounds like she caught a cold standing under a spot to visit, but I didn't have time, so I sent you some pink princess, maybe merchandise. What kind of place is she living anyway? There was manual here? I don't have any manual. Now I don't need manual, right? Who's that? Wanna talk? Let's talk beyond. Princess, but you know, I snuck into the studio the other day and I saw her. The one inside the Pink Princess suit. What a dog. It was kind of shocked for a boy of my tender age. To me, too, when I saw who actually inside the costume of Super Sentai, it was very shocked. Yeah, I remember it. Oh, that lore. Guy. Me, I'm training to become a paranormal photographer? No, the picture I took of everyone? Well, just behind them, there's a ghost. For real. Now that's a talent, I'm gonna be famous. And where's the photo? Where is it? Why putting ghosts into this game? Yes, it's another case here. Only four years. Uh, but a new episode has been added. Save. Uh, so it was not in any adaptations, isn't it? This was all in the game. Rise from the ashes. What time is it? 
it's even animated. Well, I can play... Maybe towards? Why is this two people here? In two different buildings? Is it even New York here? And was police station. It's been two months since Maya left the office. Two months without a single trial. Why is this not a single trial? It's supposed to be famous. Had offers, but none I took. That is, until the day that girl show up. Uh, how is he getting his salary in this case? Why do I come here to the office every day? It's not like I want to work. There you are, finally! Where have you been? This is trial is tomorrow. Uh... You. Doesn't matter who I am, it only matters who you are. It's a famous defense attorney, Nia Fei. Uh, you're not Mia Fei, are you? I'm sorry, but Miss Mia Fei no longer works here. So you are the coffee boy? Phoenix Wright, a defense attorney. Right? Right. Wait, why does she need uh, pink glasses to actually look at something? <sighs> Not the Phoenix Wright? Emma? Phoenix Wright from the Edgeworth murder case. Yes, that's correct. It wasn't Edgeworth who was murdered, though. So I leave them, you better than nobody. I'm sorry, I'm afraid I'm not taking cases right now. But you have Phoenix right, right? The undefeated defense attorney? Like okay, I'm not accepting any cases. Only old one I accept. I'm sorry, but you have to try elsewhere. Please, I'm out of time. But... Please, you have to help. It's my sister. Okay, I'll help you out. Really? Thank you so much. My name is Emma. Emma. How am I supposed to pronounce it? It's not a real last name. Sky? I'm a scientific investigator. Scientific investigator? Just Sky? In this case, why is there E at the end? Uh, I can move. And I moved. Probably 20 seconds. Hmm, I wonder what's wrong with Emma. She got quiet all of a sudden, as soon as we arrived. Nerd. So I told you I didn't want visitors. By the way, Sky is a real Japanese name. Sora, of course. From Kingdom Hearts, for example. Sorry, mom. Just your sister. No excuses. Did you not want the rises here? Hmm? Understood, mom. What was that all about? Jano? Hi, love. Funny. I seem to remember specifically telling you not to come here. That's why my is failing. Uh, look. And want to come here easily, okay? But your trial's tomorrow and you still don't have a defense attorney. And I'll be the one in court tomorrow. This has nothing to do with you, Emma. Isn't that right? 
Nice to watch. How do you know me? You know, I mentioned you. I've heard quite a bit. Um, sorry, what exactly is it that you do? My name is Lana. Lana this guy. I'm chief prosecutor for this district. Chief prosecutor? Two sisters? One a lawyer? Could this be a coincidence? I'm Alana, I mean, they just like... Is something wrong on this right? Your watch looks new. I polish it daily. In a few years, the gold platen will flake off. <clears throat> then we'll see the real you. What happened to innocent small talk? You will three years. Then we'll see what you have become. So, you're the chief prosecutor. That is correct. I'm responsible for overseeing every trial handled by prosecutors in this district. Make sure the prosecutors have what they need to do the job and manage every aspect. Those are my responsibilities in a nutshell. It's awfully a large nutshell. Still, I'm a little surprised. I would think you would recognize the district's chief prosecutor, Mr. Wright. Huh? In fact, it seems impossible you wouldn't. Lana? What happened to your hand? All of this? I had myself by accident when I stopped him, that is. Huh? I'm not very good at being a criminal, I suppose. How am I supposed to defend this? Change the subject. Wait. She was in the class ahead of me. Wasn't she? Uh, you were in school with me, correct? I don't know how he actually learns this when it's first time when I heard. A few years above you. Emma didn't tell me that. I didn't speak to him. What's going on? It's definitely a game bug. Emma told you that too, did she? Well, why not? I didn't track him all the way here from his office. Also, it seems he has very little in common with me. Hey. It was in law school. I was in my third year. She was all night in the class. She was different than the other students. Different? She was strong. She didn't do anything to become a defense attorney. Anything. That was probably why she was attracted to me. Excuse me? Intellectually attracted, Lana was top of your class in school. I was the best of that was. I'm doing pretty good in school too, by the way. It sounds a bit different when Emma says it. The victim. So, who was the victim? Investigator with the police department. Did he kill Gamsho? Definitely not, it's a uh, filler. Yeah. I suppose the correct term is detective. Detective? This was due to a loss of blood. He was stopped once in the stomach. By you? This was an evidence, but the wound was fatal. I see. Allow me to repeat myself, Mr. Wright. Victim was a detective. You know what that means, you don't you? No. Do they have special treatment? What? Mr. Wright, what does it mean? Well, it means. The police department will consider it a matter of pride to have me found guilty. So what? It's to everyone's pride. They will use any means at their disposal to do so. This case gets worse and worse with everything I learned. So, because it was a policeman and detective, they must accuse some prosecutor. Uh, I see. 
no connections. This is something you should know from the start. Witches? The suspect in this case has confessed to the crime. Huh? Wait, but the suspect? The suspect is... Me? I did it. Well, Mr. Wright? Well, why don't you begin by telling me exactly what happened? The crime took place yesterday, February 21st, at 5.50 p.m. That's quite specific. It was in the witness... their position. The witness clearly saw me committing the crime. My, that was a bit of bad luck, wasn't it? The crime took place in the underground parking lot at the prosecutor's office. The body was found in the trunk of my subordinate's car. Look at the prosecutor's office, huh? In your subordinate's car trunk? Classic. I was arrested on the spot, caught red-handed, as it were. My, my. Well, Mr. Wright? Excuse me. As you can plainly see, admitting my guilt. I think it's safe to say. There's no way you can take the case, none. But Lana... You... You were always this way, weren't you? You never think of anyone but yourself. You didn't do it, Lana, I know. So... So how can you say you did? If I lose you... I'll be all alone. I hit you, Lona. Hello, Mayi Rama. Some detective was killed. Mr. Wright? Yes? I believe our discussion here is ended. The rest? I leave to you? Mm, you mean you're requesting my services as your defense? Don't lose any sleep over it. Your client has confessed. After all, the case is over. What? I know what I can to get to the bottom of this. Lana has confessed to the crime, yes. But something doesn't fit. It's that look in Emma's eyes. There's something else going on here. I'm going to find out what. I'm sorry, Mr. Wright. About what? My sister, she's not always like that, you know? She's never expected to be defending another prosecutor again. She's changed a lot. She used to be so gentle, always smiling. Everybody liked you. I see. Sorry, but I having trouble imagining that. What happened to her? I don't know for certain myself. Think maybe she... Well, maybe not. Sounds like there's something there that defies a simple scientific explanation. Let's go check out this underground parking at the prosecutor's office, shall we? Okay. This is... It's my attorney's bunch. Well... I've never seen a real one before. So, she's so fake. That's the first one who's actually been interested in mine, believe me. His composition is mostly silver, the gold pattern is black in a bit. She likes it, scientifically. It doesn't appear to be any corrosion due to so fits. I'll give you 50 bucks for it. Sorry, but it's not for sale yet. This is the lot where it all happened. Looks like they're still investigating. Funny that my first visit to the prosecutor's office should be like this. Hey everyone, keep up the good work. What are you thinking? Well, are they going to be my co-workers 
three years from now after all. Go her up and say hello. She is ace, you know, attorneys aren't supposed to examine current stance. Time to not stand out too much here, see? Hey there. You suspecting to go and notice here, partner? Partner? What the heck is this? What's going on? What do we have here? What the heck is this? Looks like a bandina got slows from the ranch and is up to no good? Who's gotta learn to keep them doggies tied down, partner? And why is D not team? Mr. Marshall! He's going to cut himself. Marshall looks more like a sheriff to me. Well, looky here, Bobina. I know how you feel. But this is my against gold strike, see? Strike? This is our claim, our territory, and the gold mine is evidence. King from Texas. Well, he's still here. <clears throat> if you're fixing to mess with, well, that's ours. Who read it, partner? You know what dreams of the cacti out in the desert dream? You want to? Well, desert and cacti usually in Arizona. It's pretty far from Texas. What this guy's talking about? I don't know, everything's so green here. Had a long home now. Happy trails, let me know. I don't know how many are deserts in the Texas. Like maybe 20% only? I don't know. Was it a hombre a friend of yours? But he uh, used some Mexican words, I believe, I mean, Spanish, so it must be Texas, not some other state. Kind of, sort of, yeah, he's a detective. Who think he's a sheriff from the Wild West, it seems. And, of course, Wild West did not exist. But this is my car. Some Mitsubishi, for sure. Well, my car is also red. And it looks the same. No, seriously. No, no time to waste. Let's get hunted for clues. Hmm, wonder what this is. Well, partner, looks like you got no intention of going home quietly. Like I said before, this has our claim. The best to be no saying alone. Unless you fix him to bite the bullet. You just tell us one thing who owns that car. He's even drinking some room. Well well. The little Phyllis got a good nose on her. Want to know who rides that red Mustang? Well, I doubt it's Ford Mustang. Because it's not that. There's a body in your saddle, huh? Please. So, just a horse. No problem, partner. About time for witless anyway. Get yourself to the saloon up on the 12th floor of the prosecutor's office. I just find you a... What? Carvesso? Like, what the heck is this one? What's the hitter's office? Where does this guy think he is? And when, for well, that matter? Not to self, look up. Little saloon? Okay, let's see, what is this? Hmm? Some old song? Never heard this one. So, what the heck is this word? Care. Uh, 
I cannot find this word. Okay, let's uh, let's Google instead. There's no explanation of this. Okay, this weekend if it will open, it's not opening. Come on! Spanish word meaning beer. What? Okay, it's a beer. For some reason. <clears throat> Maybe we should check out room 1202, the high prosecutor's office. In any case, stay away from the car. And look around here, all you like. Just keep your paws off our claim. Right, great. Great, maybe there's some clues around here, Mr. Wright. Let's check it out. Still here. What's this? A wallet? Oh, excuse me, officer? Right? What did you do, Mr. Wright? What am I doing? I just found this wallet, so I am handing it over to the police. Believe it. It's so basic. Anything at the crime scene is evidence. Let's be scientific about this, please. Just put it in your pocket. How is it scientific? It sounds like theft to me. Find the skipper. I'm going to duty radio and at my tender age. Here yeah, I'll teach you the trick to examine evidence in the tail, okay? It's a new mechanic here. By the way, her eyes are sparkling. I can tell she's been waiting for this. Okay, now, look at the court record. It's doing it for me. Have to be sure to examine evidence carefully on all sides. I don't want to use touchscreen here. Now, let's start examining from every angle. I think I need to use this thing. Oh look, I think there might be clues there. Check, check it out. Press the examine button. Now I can use still buttons. What the heck is this? This is an ID card. Some sergeant? D Gamsho? Why he is in white? No, it's Bruce Goodman. I saw G as thought it's Gansho. I T uh, do I need to remember this? Okay, I can remember the last four digits 2189. See? Well, isn't scientific investigation useful? I guess so I don't see what science has to do with it. Let's be sure to examine every piece of evidence we find. Guess I got to be on my toes from now on. Guzman. Guzman? Uh, pretty European name. Where are you two all set? Mm -hmm. Us? What's this? She couldn't be... Selling lunches here? This is crime, son! Hello, half and half, was it? Go! <sighs> well, Guzman, I, I knew several people with this last name. Several. In real life. No sense. And you, sir? Yes. Some crunchy goodness coming at you? Thanks, interesting way of doing business. This area is off limits to anyone without clearance. Especially, you notice your hat? This onigiri. Uh, wait a second, it's onigiri. It's indeed onigiri. Especially passers by. Uh, officers. Are you really talking about your hat? I 
Which of us is why? Are your offices? What it is? No, but you? You don't actually look like the type of to have clearance. Do you have your own file? Not yet. Oh, by the way, let's check the ages. 16. 29? She, she's she already. Chief is kinda one position higher than me. You don't exactly look like we have to have clearance. That's it's hardly a way to greet someone. One of my days have that cough up queen are over. Cough up queen? Hello, Jordashes. What is cough up queen? You know, I'm feeling kind of full. Oh, maybe I'll pass on lunch. Attorney? Good afternoon. It's still in. I'm quite connected to this case, you see? The images are burned into my eyes. You might say, yes, all the sordid secrets. Who will be the killer here? Here? Sure. Secrets? Jeremy, you're a slow one, aren't you? I am referring to the murder, the stabbing of that detective. What? The witness clearly saw me commit the crime. You mean you are the witness my sister was talking about? Please, Cow Queen, tell us what happened. My name is Angel Storm. Don't you go forgetting it. Or before you know it, I have you whimpering at my heels. Yes, well, so she means it. Now she's on my file. Indeed. So the one. Okay. A defense attorney must be able to fight. How about you? Do you think you can win? How about tackling a lunch? Lance, pickle supreme lunchbox. I see reddish here, not a pickle. Oh, it's really crunchy. Well, reddish was on the bottom, maybe pickles were on top, I don't know. Your sister's name is Emma. A box of pickles. Kind of a sad lunch, if you ask me. I wonder why they only use numbers for this. What else would they use? Letters? That's the reason we have a written language in the first place. True. Detective Bruce Goodman. ID Yabadab? Yabadabadu? See? Wouldn't that be better? No. Yabadab? Well, it does have a certain ring to it. <clears throat> Defending you? In your traffic court? Why are you having court? You want to argue about the violence you committed? I don't know, when I have something I just wave it by taking a curse. Like I turn on the right when it was illegal to turn on right. Well, nowadays you can turn right. You, you can even go without stopping on the right side. Uh, because all the evidence that they have is not valid anymore if it was taken by camera. It's happened like three years ago or so in Texas. So if somebody will see you on camera, it's not considered to be an evidence and you'll never get a ticket in Texas. Well, it does have a certain ring to it. 
because I'm a boy. So I just took the courses online and they waived my ticket. It doesn't take much to miss you. So seriously, I must use. Uh, okay, where is this? Stylus. Let's see. Yeah, that's the only way. Maybe. I'll try some other buttons. I don't know. There must be a button to, to rotate it. Looks like on the stars. Uh, how supposed to check it? Wait a second, I want to read it. Police department, this I see. The solution is so low. Maybe I can't. This you can examine. But nothing here. Okay, it doesn't matter. Let's put it here. Maybe I'll use it. Hmm. Let's talk. Angel. Hmm. Could we ask you a bit about yourself, Miss Star? Can he everything to sell lunches? She's Dordarsha. Imports only at the freshest and best from the Far East. For some reason, the box lunches are a hit here. Make the lunches here rather than import them. To say something? No. Only true connoisseurs can understand the kind. You can only tell someone who has tried general sauce Trilobite lunch set. But so is Chinese. Well, name. No mind you in. Don't even want to appreciate parts of a trilobite level. Anyway, I come here every day to sell lunches. My boyfriend works in the security room here at the prosecutor's office. Your boyfriend? Trilobite. There's a security room over there. The glass wall booth. I sell my lunches and since I'm here anyway, I drop in to see him. Since you're here anyway, selling lunches is more important than romance. So, to scientifically analyze the data available so far, you, Mr. are a lunch vendor with an authorized motive for coming here. Useful analysis, not. What you witnessed. So, what exactly was it that you witnessed, Miss Star? It was a fascinating spectacle, to be sure. And I feel I know what they say when they talk about a woman's earth. To see Lana Sky world that knife saw, knife flashed in anger, bringing him to a sudden. It was truly a sight to see. You mean you saw the very moment of the crime? The sound of his silvery ties to this world being cruelly cut still rings in my ears. The rhythmic beats of Lana Sky's knife. Wait a second, you know Lana Sky? Of course. It's quite a feat, becoming chief prosecutor. How many lunchboxes of sin did she pack to make that journey, I wonder? She always travels light. Now, why would this pretty lunch lady know the chief's prosecutor's name? The keys. Somehow, I knew. Yesterday was a day of destiny. I knew something was going to happen. Hmm. My special? 
Brock Slex. Just like I know what the daily special on Friday. Every week is Salmon. Oh, it's Salmon. Destiny. Is this the special for some reason? Your defense attorney, right? You should know them. You should know the four misdeeds of the evil ones who hold this den of inequity? Evil ones? Prosecutors, they have no quals? It's all about blackening the name of innocence. Uh, <clears throat> what is qual? Oh, I see. An uneasy feeling of doubt, worry, or fear. Uh, why not to say no doubt? It's all about black in the name of innocence. And yesterday they paid homage to the most evil one of all. They gave an award for King of Prosecutors for the first. So she's saying there was some sort of prosecutors convention yesterday. Has almost compelled to lay their lunches with something fun. Do you have a personal grievance against prosecutors or something? Or is there some kind of scientific evidence of this and um, evil? Yeah, miss. She's really a child. She's still young, I must say. <sighs> just shout after searching y'all? Wow. Oh. I just heard this word today, by the way. That's why I started searching it. I saw some clip about... Uh, wait a second, the cartoon was hair note. And they were spelling this word. And I was thinking, uh, what the heck is this? Because they spelled it incorrectly. I was trying to find it. And here it is, it's in the game. So I was trying to find this word exactly today. The first four letters I remember, but not the last one. So, coincidence. Yeah, miss. Mock me at your own risk. You'll soon find out why they call me the Copper Queen. The most heinous of all the evil ones. The one they awarded yesterday. It was in his car that they found the body. Proves that he deserves the evilest lunches of all. Really? Really what? Totally confused. Once and still, this lunch lady has a thing against prosecutors. Did you have a bad experience with a prosecutor, Mr. And since some astrology, astrology, huh? Perhaps prosecutors are all alike, and the bigger they get, the worse they smell. Kind of like ten-day-old clowns in the shoulder. I wonder if Miss Star was involved in some sort of legal trouble with the boss. That's the issue cause of food poisoning, scientifically speaking, of course. I mean, now you're talking Cover Queen. So she was just a lunch vendor, but now not so sure. And that's all here. Am I missing something else here? Can I check this terminal? This is where the cars leave the lot. The arrow on the ground makes it look more like an entrance. What are you talking about? It's plainly an exit. Well, maybe it's both kind of uh, dual purpose? The theory of relativity. What? I've got to write this down. Oh, hey, hey, Mr. Wright. Maybe you know what's Mr. Relatively... Relativity German? Was he British? He's definitely... From Israel? But German. Mr. Relativity? Are you sure that was his name? I mean, Einstein, of course. Mm. Look, a door. It must mean something. 
I'm sure that doors mean anything. No, it won't open a mysterious look. I fail to see what's mysterious about it. Mr. Wright, you need to learn to enjoy life more. Let's finish our investigation first, shall we? What about this ladder? Hi, ladder. Uh, that's a step ladder. No, it's just a ladder. Step ladder is different. What's the difference? In scientific terms, please. Scientific, huh? Step ladder is where you using your full steps. Here you cannot do this. It's like the question about spades and shovels. What's the basic nature of things, Mr. Wright? This all seems so horribly familiar somehow. Because you cannot put your foot on it. It's narrow. So it's not a step. Have on. Let's see if it works. Don't touch stuff we don't need to be touching. Can I run anything? Well, spades looks like the spades on the cards, of course. Surely it's squirrel. Errors. No errors. Maybe it's due to the barometric pressure? What is she bubbling about? Hey, did they just sing? See, you can uh, just find the phone's broken. Look, a uh, stylish glass wall room. Very nice. You could see the whole parking lot from in there. Say security. Perhaps it's a uh, cafe. Hmm. Cafe security. Yeah, that must be it. Let's check it out later. It will break into you, but I think it's probably just a security guard office. You know, I scored a 97 on my science test the other day. The way they don't have a test for common sense. An oil drum. Looks like it's filled with water. It's heavy, I can't even watch it. The drum over here is on its side. Wait. I know. I'll hunt in here and do a stick out. I think you'll probably just get arrested. But you may not even have to hide in the drum to get arrested. What? I'm not suspicious. This wall is in our way. It's got a faucet for water. I don't know. This wall is merely a facade. Hiding the truth. This is all. This is no wall, but a water door. Well, to see how it makes any difference either way. Very strange. Wait a second, why can't it move to the right? Ah, oh, because it's not allowed to look at this car. Yeah, you're right, Kokao. Spade and shadow. Uh, and shadow. <laughs> but it's definitely a letter. And there's nothing else to do. As far as I can see. Hmm, what team? Uh, did they show it to us? I don't remember. It's supposed to be show. Uh, no, it's supposed to be speed. I don't know. How it looked like. And the kind of room. That just screams, I can do the job. What a change from your office, right? Thanks. You're using shovel to move some... <clears throat> well, errors? Snow? And spades to... Move some coal? <laughs> I don't know. Thanks. Look, look. There's a trophy. Or something here. A uh, part of the trophy. Trophy, wait. That shield? Pixel nerve to display stuff like this. 
Evan's office this is. He must be a real stuck up jerk. Mr. Phoenix, right? You never tire of praying into other people's business, do you? That voice. It's his office? A long time now, see, and worse. Yeah. Mr. Edgeworth? You know him from somewhere? Wait a second, she just recently told us about this case, murder case. Of course, I am his biggest fan. My sister introduced us once, and... But his sister was the chief prosecutor of it all. Well, what brings you here? How are you? I have been known to be a real stack up jerk. No, did they? No! It was just uh, Mr. Wright here. He... he don't blame me! Just here to investigate the murder case. Murder? A boy was found in this nasty, bright red sports car. It, it was not a sport car! In the parking lot, it was pretty average car. Hmm? It would be my car. What of it? What? Your car? Say one thing. Just suddenly can't me. Uh, what is this paint with really suit on the left? I need to check it. Wow, this jacket is even lesser than his usual ones. This must be uh, his lucky trial jacket, so the real one, not the pain. Lucky jacket, right. Never seen him wear it. Shows us a story behind the whites in a frame. Maybe I'll be not here, but take a picture. Getting way too excited about this. Well, it's not in the records. Alright, uh, let's see. So, as minimum one hour I still will be playing, so be right back. In the third game? I even have no idea what was or would be in the third game. So far, I saw only uh, this one and how's the second one, and that was all. And nothing else. Well, except the uh, last one. So, be right back in a minute.
Well, yes, I might some more tea. Just now. But not coffee. <clears throat> So what? It's just a part of trophy. It's not full, isn't it? I've been wondering, what the heck is this? What's key? Knight? It has a big key in it. Knight of Prosecutors? What's that? A key in half Prosecutors, oh my god. Of prosecutors? It's a great honor. They send that shield to the best prosecutor each year. So? So that king that's. He stands for king? Yeah. You got a problem with that? I didn't design the scene. King of prosecutors. Kind of like Amplay of the Month. Only better. Can I examine it? Alright, let's see. Like, first of all, why is this on the top of it? I cannot move it. Let's turn around. Uh, why can I check anything on it? Desk chair? What happened to it? Uh, why is this? Oh, it's on the bottom. Hey, check it out. There's a metal plate here. Looks like the names of all the previous recipients. I'm great on it. Alright, see you Coco. So, as I said, I will just will be playing maybe one more hour, that's all. So, I will continue maybe tomorrow, but it's I'm not sure about this. Just 50% that it will happen tomorrow. Manufacturers make the threaded connections non disassembled? But you still was able to take them apart? When I actually... What a chair. Well, almost the same as I have here. I... Connected it wrongly and was not able to take them apart, so I just simply sent it back. The hole. Yeah. I don't know, UPS maybe. And they gave me back the money! Despite that it was just my fault. Well, I feel it also it was my fault very late. After I Google it on some YouTube videos that explains how correctly assemble it, I figured out it was my fault. I did this. Alright. One guy's listed a bunch of times. Form Karma. Guess he must be a foreigner. Uh yeah, it's probably it. Well, Wherever he is from, he must have been an amazing prosecutor. And a criminal. I'd like to meet this Mr. Von Karma sometime in the prison. Or maybe he was already executed. When she says it, his name does have kind of a ring to it. And that's all I thought there will be something more important. It's nothing else. Like, it's definitely just half of it. Where's the second half? I don't know. <sighs> do something and write a funny scene, or you're going to do something funny and then write. Chess? Hey, chess board. Two up on my chess, but it looks like lose in a bit of a tight spot. That knight's half surrounded the blue palm. The horses are mounted knights. The swords have really sharp edges. And check out that poor pound. His head is kind of spiky. Uh, kind of reminds me of you. Mr. Edgeworth must be an avid chess player. 
What's wrong with Roy? Edges. Thrown in a bomb is a spiky herb. No, it's not some... And this is a letter. This... Are all these files? They stuck up to the ceiling. There's even a letter. What? I thought Edgeworth wasn't good with heights. Must have someone get them for him. Strange. Why didn't I just picture Detective Gumshoe? He must study this keys robber so closely. He's so cool. He said that if you saw him sweating bullets up on the ladder. Is it Samurai here? My, 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 what an amazing... I was trying to check what is on the right, not on the left. Look at it. Just right for Mr. Edgeworth. Kidding. Who is this a card on it? Back from that. Wendy. What? Wendy? What's that name somewhere before? And besides it, a giant still samurai. That's it. I want one. Hmm? Something right on the bottom of his feet. Foot. Between a rock and a hard place. What? Wendy. Is she Mr. Edgeworth's fiance? I don't think so. Cute! What a pretty tea set! I go more for the instant tea box myself. Amazing! The drawer below is filled with packets of tea leaves. Also, a by place of original flavor. Look at this <clears throat> royal blends. What an exquisitely splendid concoction. What the heck is those words? Such a thing as taking a hobby too far. Uh, see nothing that stands by. To be honest, it's a bit of a miracle. I'm still here at all. What do you mean? Rumors? Heard the rumors about me, haven't you? No. Miles Edgeworth. It's hard to remember a time when there weren't rumors about this guy. Origin evidence. I read about this three times already. Seems to you my innocence was established in the trial at the end of last year. However, there are some who say I'm the one responsible for the current incident. What? It's crazy. Hmm. Some people need very little excuse to sink ill of others. It's a fact of life. Impossible to stop. But... Some of them even go so far as to present me with toys like this. You think it's funny? Bronze shield? It's good to be a story behind that one. So, the bodice was found in Yokar. Go ahead, say it right. You think I did it, don't you? After you went through all the trouble to help me last year, no less. No, I don't think you did it. I mean, it was my sister who stopped you. Wait, no, she didn't do that, I mean... Wait, so you are the chief prosecutor's little sister, son? Yes, sir. I must go. It, uh, it's nice to meet you again. Now that didn't sound forced at all. Now remember, you're really grown. I'll admit, it was a surprise to me, too. The thing that my own car would become the center of a murder. No surprising still. Now forced it to prove. My superior's guilt. I can understand. Oh, wait, what did you say? He will be a prosecutor again. This guy is the chief prosecutor. The top prosecutor in the district. She can't prosecute herself, so I'll be the prosecutor at the trial tomorrow. Yo? Mr. Edgeworth. 
chief prosecutor, Stan? Yes. We first worked together on a case two years ago. It was my first big case. That's right, I remember. Two years ago, I wasn't even aware yet. Since then, I always felt that she was looking out for me. Here's I was mistaken. Mistaken? Why? I mean, I know she's not the worst person. I'm sure she felt some responsibility for you. Then why? Why did she stop someone in the trunk of my car? Not only that, she stopped him with my knife. The knife, of course, red. I mean, the handle. What? Mr. Ashworth, your knife was a murder weapon? To be specific, it was the knife kept in the toolbox in the trunk of my car. Why having toolbox in the trunk of your car? I don't have it. Just knife, okay. Edgeworth? Let me check it first. This must be a victim's blood, right? Is it that or Edgeworth cut himself feeling an apple? Was Edgeworth doing with a knife like this anyway? Maybe he spends his weekends often eat in the wild? Edgeworth? In the wild? I think my fruit peeling theory is more likely. Are you kidding? I always pictured him as an outdoorsman. Now this is a scary thought. It's kind of all. I can turn it around, but that this will be anything. <sighs> Edgeworth, what? Are you sure you didn't do it? Come on. Can he take a joke? I have a strange sense of humor, Mr. Wright. Okay, let's present you some evidence. Say, Edgeworth, I was wondering about this. That's right. Hmm? What? I'm sure you should be shown that to Mr. Edgeworth. Take it for sure, won't you? I should be on the same side as Mr. Edgeworth. But then my sister would be found guilty. Just eyes. Any deeper, I'm going to start getting depressed. <clears throat> so, in other words, you were the best of the best this year, huh? But this year just started, just February. Can't take that foolish grin elsewhere, right? I lost a day of work to receive that tourist tip. Hmm? Why is it? Had to go to the police department ceremony to receive that broken shield. The police department? Yes, right next to the police station, Doctor. You've been there, correct? But if your gumption works, yeah. I was wondering something about your shield. Why is it broken? What does it matter? What more important things to worry about? Right. Doesn't seem too concerned about his words, for better or for worse. He said it was a very busy day for the prosecutor's office. Maybe you should ask him more about yesterday? This game must polish to discuss evidence with the defense. Especially with you. Doesn't like you much, does he, Mr. Wright? With Edgeworth, it's now personal. It's all about winning tomorrow. Could you tell me more about yesterday, the day of the murder? Yes, there was the annual cleaning day at the prosecutor's office. Cleaning day? What's here is this? Cleaning day? Working with the police department, we sort and file all evidence for solved cases. We call it evidence transfer. Open your hands of all cases, in other words. Oh, another thing. The ceremony was held at the police department. It's an annual review and awards for outstanding police officers and prosecutors. This is when you got the shield. What shield? 
Okay. Shot is defense, not attack. It was at the police department yesterday afternoon. Got back here at 5.12. That's very precise. Uh, I don't have the autopsy report yet. People like myself and Mr. Edgeworth pride ourselves on our precision. It's right. No, I place little place in my memory. The only thing I trust is solid evidence. Parking stop? It's a parking stop from the underground lot. Wait a second, but it's the office! You don't need to have stops here. No, it's because only prosecutor office? I don't know. Mass Edge was 1712. Of course it's 1712, because it's in Japan, not America. This is dated the day of the crime. One or two planks three minutes after Edgeworth parked this car. His car. Only he was held up in a couple extra red lights. He wouldn't have been caught up in this whole affair. Perhaps. It just goes to show you never know what will happen when you run a yellow light. Why it's black on the other side? Wait a second. Twenty first. The murder took place around 5.15. So the murder happened right after you got back? Who opened your car without keys? What? Right? I appreciate it if you direct that suspicious clear elsewhere. Hide. The heck is this? Excuse me, but is Mr. Edgerson anywhere on the premises? I'm Edgeworth. What is it? I'm here, sir. At the request of the chief, sir. I've got your rapper, sir. Rapper? What? To find new evidence in the case against Chief Prosecutor Sky? I don't like the way this conversation is going at all. Sky, sir? No, sir. No name of that kind, sir. Not in this rapper, sir. I think I just heard Edgeworth's lead blow. Mr. Edgeworth's lead isn't on very tight, is it? What is lead? What is lead? I made a clear request to the police department, did I not? I need to focus on the trial tomorrow, so don't bring me anything related. So, but, but, sir! Just following orders, sir. You told me to bring this to you. What's the matter of that? Give me your name. Uh, yes, yes, sir. Mickens? Mickens? Officer Mickens? Right. Officer Mickens? Take your report and leave. And good luck with set or rise next month. But, sir, I didn't know. Poor guy. Looks like he was absent on the day they gave out brains and good luck. Right. Yes, sir. He caught me off guard. As you can see, I'm busy. You might leave now. Let's do what he says, Mr. Wright. The victim was a detective from the same department as that patrolman just now. Go down to the police department. You can ask more there. Thanks. Seems to have finally calmed down at least. What was this report? <sighs> and this mascot is him.
the butcher. You're finally here! Why would they put the detective so far away from the prosecutor's office? It took almost 30 minutes by a taxi. Taxi? In Japanese. And traffic wasn't even that bad. It's my first time at the police department, actually. Hold on, uh, what that and why it's broken? Mr. Ben, why does it in do it like that? Okay, so he was killed at police department, put into the uh, trunk. Next, Edgeworth moved to the prosecutor's office. Uh, here it is. I need an autopsy report in time. Okay, why it's in the late like this? To show us the power of Nintendo DS, Game Boy Advance could not make such innovation. Wait, I know, this is a blue badger. I'm trying to make him the police mascot. Oh. I said, sorry, the police must go. Mr. Wright, you know a lot about the police department. Still, he does seem familiar somehow. It's a blue badger. What's next to him? So it used to be dancing with the blue badger? Uh oh, he noticed me. She's trying to over here fast. Hey, pal. What are you doing here? That's my line, Detective Gamsha. Specifically, why were you dancing over there? What? Well, well, at least he doesn't seem to be busy. Uh, this is our chance to get information. I haven't... I'll have you know I'm a very busy man, Paul. First of all, I want to check this bedroom. Should be an evidence. I was wondering about that. The dancing blue badger? It's my masterpiece. You made this detective gun show? The chips threw together some designs and I just did my simple. Nice work. It's battery powered, so it can go anywhere. It's no switch, so it just dance, dance, dances until the batteries die. You can remove battery. Blue Badger waited to dance until he drops. Okay, now I can examine him. No? I cannot examine it? Nothing happens. But I see this tape. Campaign? What? In the banner, he is announcing the crime finding campaign. Nice one. What if they'll be selling fingerprinting sets? I saw that set kind of campaign. What family wouldn't want a set at home? Just buy it on Amazon? Instead of finding out who snuck into the cookie jar. Also, you don't need sets to do this, it's easier. To get fingerprints by using just a pencil. Suppose families can figure that out without the extra help. Also, you don't trust your family need to figure it out? If somebody is lying, just send them to the orphanage. Wait a second, orphanage is for orphans. But it's only in English. In European languages, it's a kid's house. You're not supposed to have a do or not to have parents. Anyone can be here. The investigation. So what are you doing here, Detective Gumshaw? Me? Oh well, nothing really. They keep me out of criminal affairs. Detective Gansha, what did you do this time? 
mean this time? Did that not happen? No one seems so busy right now. I mean, this my sister's case and all. That's true. You've never had a chief prosecutor murder anyone before. Only as the highest ranked people are being led into criminal affairs now. The lowest ranking guy in there is our chief of detectives. They're not letting any of us rank and file detectives in at all. None of you? This is an important trial, but it isn't it a little odd? So anyway, I thought I'll spend the day getting the bunch of dance down part. Isn't uh, anything else you could be doing? Chief of Police himself is directing this investigation power. An officer marshal was assigned to the underground parking lot. Officer Marshall? Now that I think about it, Emma did seem to know that Marshall guy. A patrolman in charge of a crime scene is unheard of. Well, can I actually talk about a uh, broken butcher here? No. What about this? And the technical gun show? What can you tell me about this? Huh? Hey, Bob. It's a detective's ID card. You can't just keep that. You have to turn it into the police. It's people like you that get me into so much trouble all the time. The detective Gamsho must drop his heart a lot. Let's see. Bruce Goodman. Goodman. Sounds familiar. Now I'm mistaken. But don't you want to get ah. Now remember. This good man. He's the victim. So they thought. Is he in my records? Still not. Can you tell us more about uh, more detective gumshoe? So, this ID card belonged to the victim. He was the detective like myself. Detective Bruce Goodman. Don't you say it's strange? I mean, who would. Uh, I mean, why would the victim's ID card be lying on the ground where we found it? And now to open the gate? Well, Detective Goodman should have been at the police department yesterday. There was an evidence transfer for a case he handled two years ago. Evidence transfer? Mr. Ashworth mentioned that too. But Detective Goodman was killed at the prosecutor's office. Well, that's the same. It's hard to say this, but. Word is that Chief Prosecutor Sky called him out there to the parking lot. And Lana's confessing as much. I'll give you one word of advice, Paul. I better not agree to defend the suspect in this case. Well, why not? Hmm? Well, it's just that the Chief Prosecutor has confessed to the crime. She said she summoned the detective to the prosecutor's office and she killed him. But what if she's not telling the truth? Yes, well, no, come on, Paul, there's plenty of evidence against you. Now, what if the evidence was fake? Paul, can I speak to you for a second? Me? Why is this little girl so beautiful at me? She's a relative of the suspect, Lana Sky's sister. Chief Prosecutor's little sister? Please investigate this case carefully, okay? Scientifically. Yes, sir. Oh, by the way, you might want to keep your voice down. I don't want to be overheard using words like faked. Hmm? It's just, it's just a sensitive issue with us these days. 
What else can I do? Hey, that's it! And the King of Prosecutors Awards that Mr. Edgeworth got yesterday. Were you at the uh, award ceremony, like that gun show? Of course, well, I got an award for diligence myself. Congratulations. I was wondering why the award a shield and why is it broken? Well, that's the reason. I'll tell you what it is later. Apparently, he's forgotten. I was proud of Mr. Edgeworth for winning that award. So, actually, this means that prosecutors can destroy shots. It's even got uh, naysayers in the prosecutor's office. Yeah, have you heard about the rumors? I don't remember this. Found in Mr. Edgeworth's car, stabbed with Mr. Edgeworth's knife, huh? Could drive Chief Prosecutor Sky to do such a thing. Wait, I didn't mean... I mean, sure, of course, someone else really did it. Someone who must have a... Someone who must have a grudge against Mr. Edgeworth. The car and the knife do seem a little too well organized to be a coincidence. Oh, Mr. Edgeworth. What could have happened? We have to find out a little more about what's going on with Edgeworth. Wait a second. Stars on the left. The rumors at low. He's in a tough spot again. Again? I wonder for people who actually played Game Boy Advance version, how they supposed to unlock this? Playing it one more time? <sighs> I would never do this. Well, nowadays you can use the save file. Well, it all started with the murder of that defense attorney Hamas. That Edgeworth was found innocent. Listen, about there have always been rumors about Edgeworth. Forging a routine, making deals with witnesses. Nothing outright, but there were always whispered rumors. Ever since he was accused of murder, no one whispering. They practically shouting. But there's no evidence against him. But Mr. Edgeworth has always had unusually strong ties to the department high ups. So the nature of that people would be suspicious. No idea he was under the gun. Anyway, this latest case has started a new rumor. You will say the only reason he took this case is because he's aiming for the chief prosecutor position himself. What? But I know the truth, Paul. Nobody wants to be the one who has to prosecute the chief prosecutor. Mr. Edgeworth is Biden the bullet. Or this one is doing this for all of us. And that's all I know about that. Officially on the case, you know. Thank you. Why aren't you handing the case, Detective Gumshoe? Remind meant the guy who is... What was his name? The guy in the parking lot, Marshall. Let's be Officer Marshall. He was appointed directly by the chiefs of police. Chief of police. Officer Marshall. Is he some kind of Wild West sheriff or something? No, Jake Marshall's just a regular officer. From West Los Angeles. For a moment there, I wasn't sure. Papa, uh, let me try to make things a little easier for you. Show them this and they'll let you examine the crime scene. Maybe. Be surprised if this gets us anywhere. Hey, look here. Looks like something being erased. Maybe it was a letter or something to Detective Gumption? Let's see. An L bonus 20 bucks? I think a couple zero something. Knows that sounds about right. 
least in the detective's case. Maybe I should rethink my career as an investigator. Okay, let's check what's on the other side. <sighs> Nothing. Mm, just act like you're supposed to be there, and nobody will look at you twice. Well, what I'm usually doing. The heck is this? There's so many text. Uh, let me see. There's a story. Yes, they completely disassembled the chill, but still fast enough to fix it. Drill some, drill some parts. Why not to buy a new chair instead? And repair it this way. One. For me, it will cost much more to buy the drill and other stuff. A brick and the wires? And second is welded? Actually, this happened to me when I used. Uh, as a common drill on ceramic things, and for ceramic you must use uh, the diamond one, so it will not hit in this case. Yeah, that's what I saw. It's better by you show. So you had the diamond one, and it still wasn't hit? <sighs> By the way, if you think about this, there's some real diamonds on it, and they're super cheap, like 5 bucks. In this case, that's the diamonds that you can buy at jewelry shop. They don't cost so much. They don't. So if you want to buy some stone, it will be not a diamond. Maybe emeralds. Well, I don't like the green color. Uh, I want to start this uh, court finally and raid somebody. Quality of Astronauts. What was the chair's name? It was unbranded. Looks like the investigation is still going. Have to be getting back to the shop because I had cursor chairs, but they both had the same issue and sold them away. So right now I'm using secret labs. But I'm not sure about it. The quality still? Well, wait a second. Still is the metal. There can be different qualities of the same metal? Like somebody added something to the steel that's not fully 100% steel? Sorry, looks like I'll be stuck in this pit till the sun sleeps. I'll see you in my dreams tonight, son. Baby. Still here? Hello? Where's the surprise? Looks. Didn't I mention it's here who did this? I have got a boyfriend in criminal affairs too. What happened to the security guard? What's wrong, Bambino? You're looking like a doggy that's lost its heart. Jack Marshall. Strange guy to put in charge of a crime scene. Would you mind reading this for me? What's this? How are you? Fun letters to me. Go right in the speed tone. It's a letter of an election from the date of Gumshoe. Maybe investigate? Gumshoe? Oh, that old cow dog. Hmm. He holding a birthday party or something? Hmm. Look, where should say letter of introduction? It says invitation. Since you just miswrote it. 
I Detective Gunshow, I owe you one. No worries, uh, this proves it's from Detective Gunshow better than a blood test. Yes, I'll better let you in then. Thank you, Officer Marshall. Officer Marshall isn't a detective, he's a patrolman. This reminds me of something. That is odd. Isn't crime scene supposed to be handled by a detective or hire? Well, folks, the clues are calling. Welcome to our gold strike. You like the settler? Strike out for lands unknown. Ah. Uh, I actually thinking about this, but settler must strike the land that uh, inhabit. But in America, settlers actually were on the foreign territory, so they were not settlers, but colonizations. So be like colonizators. Strike out for lands, not settlers. You can't be settler. It's impossible. It's colony. Manifest destiny. Let's have a hootenanny. What is hootenanny? Who is what's old? Know the self, police instigation, I like settlement. Well, Mr. Wright, what do you say? I say it won't be meaning this anymore. Crumped and discarded. Actually, she can talk to him. Marshall. Don't mean any offense, but. Officer Marshall, you are a patrolman, right? Not a detective. You call me out? Shoot you for that in Texas. So he is actually from Texas. Or West Los Angeles. Okay, from West Texas. The Wild West. Not Middle West. One of them fancy shoot detectives till two years ago. I tell his address. So he is the killer. Oh, really? Now he tells me. But you're the patrolman now, so how can you be in charge of a crime scene? Nothing gets by you, does it, Bambino? So, why are you in charge? No reason. Just shot on hands right now. I'm keeping an eye out in the meantime. That's also. Well, Gamshu was saying he had nothing to do, nothing more than this. He's nothing but a set old cow dog that can't find his tail. Maybe it's because he runs with that Edgeworth, huh? Edgeworth? That cow dog's being kicked out of his cattle run by order of the chief of police. Just he don't release it yet. To Gamshu. Kicked out of the instigation? Officer Marshall, could you tell us more about the victim? Good men always die young. Remember that part now? Could you be a, a little more specific? Bruce Goodman, he was the detective, right? Well, well, aren't you a nasty doggy there now? And that Goodman was stabbed here at 5.15. The smiling Madonna told me of the tale. I think he means a witness, Miss Angel Sir. One stump to suggest a fine piece of work. Okay, so I think that this happened at police department, not here. In this case, she's not a witness. She's part of this mother upon. Maybe kill her herself, and definitely he's related to this. This here, the auto report. Let me read this. This due to loss of blood. One knife one died within an hour and a half of 4 p.m. Like he was alive for 45 minutes at least. It's gonna 36 years old. 21st, between 4 and 5, 30. Wait a second, they not sure when exactly did he die? I don't quite understand. One more time. 
died within an hour and a half. Ah. Huh? If he died, an hour and a half of 4 p.m. it should be end 4 p.m. Ah, 4 We got after 4 p.m. Minute. I see. But they saw him here at 5.50, which is not possible because he was killed at 4 p.m. I see. Lots of blood from chest wound. One was caused by a 12 centimeter knife. Single stab, one was found. That's why they stabbed him into stomach, so he would be alive sometime until Edgeworth actually moved his car here. Well, I already see how it was possible to do. Who's my sister involved with the victim in any way? Why you should mention that, Mamina? Chief Prosecutor Sky and the Daniel Goodman had nothing in common at all. Listen, come on. They apparently worked together on a case a few years back. Definitely Goodman also will be some kind of criminal. So there's no water. Goodman wasn't a particularly gifted detective. It's one reason why he didn't do much work with the chief prosecutor. Uh, prospector. And my sister called the victim here on the day of the murder, right? Here, to this parking lot. So it seems like calling an unarmed man to shoot out at high school. High noon. There's always high noon somewhere. Oh, by the way. What is this? This looks like a cell phone. I had totally the same as, except it was silver. Is second screen here. Yeah. Scientific analysis would suggest this belonged to the victim. I can't think of anyone else it would belong to. So scientific about that. Should we check it out? Yeah. Right. Let's check it out. And now the tutorial. Not pressing anything. Uh, now I'm pressing it. Well, let's see. It's definitely the same phone I had. It was something, something. I'm telling you. How to open it? Hold on, I saw something. Like examined, but it disappeared. Ah, this. Hmm, the display is still on the radio button. Radio? It's the right. Most phones keep a record of all the calls you've made and received. Just press the blue button to do the last number you've called. I mean it, isn't it? Surprise you didn't know about it. Of course I didn't know about it. So, sorry to disappoint you that even I know about things like radio. You both are too ancient. Hmm? I'm sorry. Just you never know these people from your generation. I don't know, it's about your generation, you're too young for this. Devil, let's check this phone out. That was strange. The radio button. It was not on my Samsung, but I had it on station phone and it was like Tons of years ago. Like sort of? Now I wonder who the owner of this phone called last. Not to sell. And the fence attorney doesn't think first. Just pushes the button. Maybe he's thinking super fast. So if you think it in modern days, like 10 years ago, you would think that it's uh, music from the outgoing call, because you can change uh, like 
will sound with some music, right? Generation Degeneration, but looks like it's a phony... Song, I know that. Hey, what's going on over there? Uh, sorry? See you, partner. You press already. I don't... Red Deal! It's Red Deal, what? How did you pronounce it before? On that cell phone, didn't you? Generation or regeneration? Oh, well, yeah. What's fun is this, anyway? What's on the ground over there? Who is it? That? that belongs to Chief Prospector Sky. What? It's my sister? She apparently dropped it when she was taken into custody right after the crime. Look, the last call was made right when the murder occurred. Cowboy Bebop. By the way, I didn't watch this anime. I tried to watch it. But I don't know what happened. It looks like she was fixing to call someone. Except she only spoke for a few seconds according to this. Who did she call? No idea. Sorry, partner. I've got a question for you, partner. Can I phone ring just now? One of those newfangled ring tunes. That all? That was my phone. What? Your phone? Yeah, it's kind of strange, but someone called me right as we picked out the other phone. A wrong number. Hope you're not lying. I should you for that in Texas, partner. Oh, I sighted the rest of the Lone Star Patrolman. So she was calling me? How did he miss the phone? Call. Last call made at 5 8. Can I do it one more time? Oh my God. There's too many coincidences. Like, I had the same phone just here. I have the same car. By the way, it's not Sparker. There's no need to push this button. This is a game. What's wrong? You look like I do during finals. No mind. It's awesome. I mean, even uh, the bills, totally the same. What should I do here? Ah, this. So there's no connection between Detective Ga Goodman and my sister. That's correct, but it's a gold mine of evidence against her. And the prospector tomorrow is none other than Edgeworth himself. So they prospectors, not executors. This one to check I am E something. The phone idea. To go to the last letter. I maybe at the end? But your sister's fate is decided, Mamina. Many condolences. Officer Marshall. Yeah, Mamina. How can you say that? You and my sister, you were... Is there something between this cop and her sisters that I don't know about? They're all criminals, for sure. I apologize, Mamina. Something must have gotten to me. I mean, it's a dry wind that's blowing through the prospector's office. Dry wind or ill will? Someone's up to something here, but who? Office atmosphere. Suspicions about Mr. Edgeworth have been flying around for nearly two years now. Forge e How many times am I reading this? was unbeatable because he did whatever it took to win. Unbeatable, that is, until he met you. Truths are just rumors, aren't they? These are 
prosecutors, we are talking about evidence is everything to them. If you follow the rumors about Edgeworth to their swords, you find one person. It's an off limits, untouchable, you might say. One person who? Mambina, it's your sister. Chief Prospector Lana Sky. Not? My sister? Edgeworth couldn't arrest all, also scattered by himself. Some people load their guns with bullets, some people load them with deals. What, you think Edgeworth was making deals to win trials? Where there's gunshots, there are bound to be bullets. It's what the old timers say. It's a big old secret hiding around here somewhere. Everyone knows it. Why Detective Gunshow was taking over the case? Is they target him because he was closest to Edgeworth? That's kind of all. My sister's cell phone. Last time it was used was 5-8, right after Goodman was killed. Maybe she was cancelled her date for the night? Why did Lana make that call? Let's go to kill me, ask you. Uh, why is there nobody here? You kidding me? What am I supposed to do in this case? I think it's useless to speak to you. What am I supposed to do? Wait a second. Uh, I'm missing something. No matter what. Maybe they check everything here. This appears to be the car. Ah, wait a second, now I no understand why do you need ticket. And it's definitely Japan, because only in Japan they have no space for the car storage. So they're using this system. So it's Japan, it cannot be the America. It appears to be the car where the body was found. It's like the lock on the trunk was busted. Busted. The crime took place in the underground parking lot at the prosecutor's office. The body was found in the trunk of my subordinate's car. Quite a luxury car, it just seems I have money to burn. Well, maybe it's some old model of Porsche or something that looks the same like regular Mitsubishi to me. From zeros. Yeah, prosecutors get the big bucks. But yeah, maybe the shape is the same, the wheels are the same, the color is the same. Maybe it's some European car. B block is thrown there. That's where visitors park. You see the Lunchland car on there. Find the distance. Right, I'll execute this end of the door. And see a cartoon core marching down a juicy looking stick. Doesn't strike you a little creepy? Just don't think too deeply about it, and you'll be fine. A block. This area is reserved for prosecutors. The first attorneys are relegated to B block. There was a day when I will be able to park my car here. Go over to b -Block to buy my hamburgers from you, Mr. Wright. Planning on giving up my job that soon. I'm supposed to do... What's this? Looks like a note of some sort. 
I don't, I'm not sure, it can be December 2nd, by the way. Something right on it. You're right, let's see. It's S. 6, 7, S. And this 7 looks like 1. It's name printed on the paper above that. Good one! Maybe it fell out of his pocket when he was killed. Also, what does it mean, Mr. Wright? You're supposed to know. Know the self, but detective reasoning go to Edgeworth, not right. Sure, Edgeworth wouldn't know what this means either. So well, how are you doing, Mr. Wright? I think I did it. Guess we got some clues. Have an out of the report, a note from the victim, and a cell phone. So you think me I'll be a king? Because the only thing still bothering me is that Lana is confessing to the crime. She said she did it. No problem. Can guarantee that she's not the criminal. By the way, Emma? Yes. I know that song your phone plays when it rings. What? In the still summary theme song, isn't it? Popular TV show for kids? It's Pin Princess now. The phone that just rang wasn't mine. It was yours! At 5 8 just after the murder took place, your sister called you. Didn't she, Emma? I I'm sorry. Can you tell me what you talked about? She hung up right away. I see. Already had it. Detective Swanner, and the suspect is the top prosecutor in the district. Mm -hmm. I've got a bad feeling about this. Like, maybe I still don't know everything that went on here? Definitely good man will not be good. But they supposed to already show us uh, the murderer. Alright, so that's it. How the investigation go yesterday? Well, he We'll learn about this tomorrow. I already stream for 4 hours 25 minutes, and I believe that's enough. I'm not sure if I will be able to stream tomorrow. And if I stream, will I be able to finish it tomorrow? Oh my god, why my phone is so slow down? To be intrigued? It will take a lot of time, I think. It's not just a case for one single day. Okay, uh, who should I rate? Let's see. Someone who is not playing online games. I'll tell you that... Like everyone playing online games or have too many viewers. Okay, let me rate Jarbo, who is, I believe, still doing board record attempts in Sonic. Of course, if he's online. Sometimes he just have his stream on, but missing on the premises. Alright, here it is. So, I continue tomorrow. Maybe. Or Saturday. I seriously don't know. Depends on the situation. Anyway, thank you for stopping by. Anyway, Raba, Coca, Jordacious, Daytona. See you next time. Don't know when. Bye. Good luck.